Hey, party people. Yo, yo, yo. It's been forever, but hi. How's everyone doing today? We have a bunch of people in chat already. Hello. I see Christian M. Kendra is here. Good morning. Good morning. Happy yeah. 2023. 2023. I'm excited. 2022 was awesome. And I think it was a really good year and like some really exciting things happened. But it's always just like a fresh start, you know, every new year. So that's really exciting. <clears throat> but according to, you know, one of my favorite bands, Blink-182, nobody likes it when you're 23. So we'll see how this year turns out. We'll see if oh, everybody man. likes 23. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ross has been on like a Blink-182 kick for a while. They're coming to town next year. I'm going to go see them finally. I'm excited. Ross is stoked, but it's also like the same weekend as Brick Rodeo, I think. So he'll be doing that. <laughs> I'll be at Brick Rodeo. It'll be great. Um, hello, everyone. So many welcome, people. Welcome. Hello, hello. It's so great to see you all. Me, um, someone asked if this was pre-recorded, and it is not. This um, is live, coming is... to you live via satellite or <laughs> this is the internet. Happening right now. <laughs> or Elon Musk's hot air balloons live. Uh, that's not he, true. He did, he did this whole Wi-Fi thing once. Um, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> all um, right, guys. Eli, so. wait. Oh, okay. Wait. I want to say hi to people. Oh, um, hi. Andrew. Hey, hello, Andrew. And we got Nick Gundy here. Hey, Nick. Built my battle packs last night. Woo! Oh, that's what Ross is about to do. Yeah, we, um, you know, after we got back from the Lego store yesterday and we put out our vlog, we had um, some friends coming over, so we didn't have any time to build. So we decided, okay, tomorrow, which is today, we are going to build. I have the day off. I've been so anxious to build this thing. Um, I really actually haven't seen much about it. I, I try to stay away from things, so I'm really excited to, to see these figures. Um, for being like such Lego people, we're so bad at keeping up. Like <laughs> yeah. leaks, I have no idea what's coming. Like someone is telling me like, oh, I can't wait for this thing. I'm like, is, is that, that like is that something happening? you just want to happen? <laughs> or is like that like a rumor? <laughs> like, Yeah. Oh, so I need your help, chat. I need your help. I don't know which to build. So if you saw the thumbnail, there's like a bunch of stuff because I didn't know what I wanted to build first. Um, so definitely help me out, okay? I do have, let me just show you. I want, my vote for her to build is the friend set. So we're kind of, we're over halfway done with it. Um, the This is the one with the furniture store, the really cool architect. It goes the other side. Yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and then, and then this one. So she's building the coolest part of the set. So I don't know why she wouldn't want to build that part. Yay. Um, and then another few things. So I'm going to build this bad boy and then I'm going to move over to this bad boy. I'm really excited. I have a good story about it. So I lied to all of you. Um, in the title, it says 2023 sets, but there is one from 2022 as well. So we might fit this one in. It's like the Eiffel's apartment. I didn't know it was like a real guy, honestly. I, like I, Eiffel, it, it yeah. makes sense. I, I didn't know. know Eiffel was a guy. Like it, it makes sense if you think about it. It's just never anything I considered. I don't know, but this is where he lived, which weird weird gift with purchase for the eiffel tower but like it's still cool you get a minifig of mr eiffel. mr eiffel sir eiffel i don't know if he's sir knighted. eiffel <laughs> what if he's a knight um star wars set looks awesome okay so chat okay i, I saw one for friends that is my book i saw a few friends i see you a lot of friends I'm look at that William. all right friends friends friends, friends, friends and friends. i'm gonna build this one real quick wait can we show them what we got we haven't done like a full-on haul well you can start building yeah, yeah, yeah you have fun so um, this arrived in the mail. This is a gift with purchase coming out January 15th. I, the news I got <laughs> oh, yeah. in my press release was January 1st. So then everyone was like, I didn't get it. And I'm like, it, it was wrong. But, um, <laughs> no. It happens sometimes. But yeah, this is a gift with purchase coming January 15th. Um, so that's really exciting. We got a lot of Lord of the Rings brick heads. Um, flowers. Can you see the daffodils? Black drums. They're cute. I don't think we're actually ever gonna build this one. I I absolutely love these like <laughs> retro um, styled sets. I, I just love them so much. They look so like good. I don't want to open them. Like they look beautiful. They're honestly art at this point. It, you know, uh, hats the off to the so to the graphic nice. designers who do do these. Oh, merry very late Christmas to you too, Golden. Aw, and Carolyn, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, I love the little unicorn thing next to her. It's so Carolyn. Cute. Thank you so much for your support. We still have our like Mickey <laughs> Halloween foam board. Um, so much has come up over the last few months, and so we just didn't. I don't know. It was it was just hard to find time to stream. I was also sick for a lot of it, which mm. sucked. <laughs> I like. I don't know what's been up with it. I was like fine. I was not sick at all for like two years straight. It was great. Like 2019 through 2021, I was fine. Summer 2022 though, I was <laughs> I've been like sick since. Then. We got got. <laughs> it's been so bad. Oh man. 
Yeah, we got got. It was bad. Well, 200 people are in chat. That is awesome. crazy, y'all. Thank you so much for being here, for hanging out. Who all play is yeah. playing hooky from work? <laughs> <laughs> Who's lurking? Oh, man. No, I mean, like, when, I, when I'm, like, working or getting stuff done, it's hard when I'm editing. Like, if I'm working on a video, I can't really listen to stuff. Or, like, if my friends are streaming, I'll, like, put it on and just, like, to support them, you know, so that more viewers, I don't know, helps algorithms, whatever. But, like... I can't actually listen in, so I don't know. I hope you guys are maybe a little bit productive if you're lurking, but you know, it's like the holidays still, just, you know, have fun. <laughs> oh man, so I built most of this already. Um, I built half of it while Ross and his family were cooking a turkey, <laughs> like on Christmas, and I was just like building friends because I don't know how to cook turkey. Um, it was fun. But it was good. It was great. <laughs> it's a special set that comes only with the Apple Tower. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, hi. How is everyone doing? We are so good. Oh, it's great to see you here. And J-Bob, hello, hello. Happy New Year. What up, what up, what up? What? I'm, I'm curious, okay? So New Year's resolutions is something... <laughs> okay, this is going to sound like really cheesy. So I watched the Harry and Meghan documentary, okay? And in the documentary, Jeez. I was sick. I had nothing else to do. I, <laughs> I was so sick and I was like, okay, what's this? Um, I actually enjoyed it, but, um, in it, Megan was saying something about, like, New Year's resolutions and how, like, they never work, and she always thought it was kind of dumb, and I'm, like, honestly saying, like, I, I don't think it's a dumb thing, but I just never actually do it. Like, if I'm, like, oh, I'm gonna go to the gym, like, it'll, I'll go once, <laughs> and then, like, never again. Um, and so I wanted to have, like, you know, not really like a New Year's resolution, but more like a word to represent like my mindset going into the new year. And I thought that that was like a better way to approach it. Kind of mm. like going in with the right energy, I guess. And so mine is time. So I've decided to like stop sucking at everything and like organize my time better. And I don't know, just try to be like more productive. Cause like sometimes I'll just be on TikTok for like four hours straight. And then I'm like, what happened to today? Like, to, how is put, it already four? We need to put like a, uh, uh, don't they have like those apps where you can just like limit your screen time? I it, need that. It's like hard because like it, you know, it's Emily's job essentially is to always be on the, on the TikToks and stuff like the that. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of a. I get that. Mine is uh, Emily. Emily projected this onto me, and so um, my word that I decided to do was uh, health, um, because. I am getting older, and I should probably start seeing a doctor at some point. I haven't seen a doctor in like 10 years, and I should probably go see one and see what what they're all about. Um, <laughs> probably, <and> yeah. <laughs> same as, you know, mental health is something I'm trying to get better at, mostly dealing with, you know, post-COVID world, going back to the office kind of stuff like that, and getting, getting re-familiar with social settings <laughs> <laughs> i'm so happy just being at home all day yeah like going out is like a whole event and i don't know if you guys are like this like let me know but like it's it's hard it's just like oh gosh like making plans freaks me out and then like when i do make plans because i want to be like a good friend and like hang out with people and be social the minute the plans come up and i'm about to leave the house i'm like <laughs> yeah oh god like i don't want to go anywhere like i want to see my friends but i'm like I don't, I don't know. It's just like, I'm so happy being home. Yeah, and we're definitely both homebodies. Yeah, no, for sure. Which is nice when we're both that way. It's not like, you know, one of us is out right, all the time. Right. And so. I've seen a lot of happy nice. New Year's. Happy New Year's to all you guys. Happy New Year. Oh, yeah. So, New Year's resolutions or like, do you have like a mindset going into the new year? I'm just curious, like, what you guys do. Um, you know, just. Let me know, like, what, what what are you thinking going into the new year? Are you, like, excited for anything? New year, new me. Yeah. <laughs> Getting close to two years. Christian, that's crazy. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's been almost two years. Huh? That's, that's insane. I, like... OG. I can't believe I've been doing this for two years. Like, that's wild to me. Um, kickstart your new year, eat chocolate for breakfast. <laughs> I'll take it. Honestly, chocolate pancakes are great. Chocolate so, and I've been good. doing that for a while. So that would not be changing anything about my life. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. Happy New oh, Year! Oh wow! My resolution is to get my permits signed off and finished. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. I hope that it ends gosh, well. That sounds so stressful. <laughs> I can't wait to hear oh, how the gosh. whole story ends. Up. Yes. Oh, Brian, that's well, thank awesome. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Oh, 
really means a lot. It. Thanks for the support, Brian. Brian. <laughs> and happy new year to you guys. Will we be seeing you at Brick Rodeo again this year? Or Brick World. Or or Brick World. There's so many conventions coming up. Like, oh my gosh, but I'm so excited. Like, the, I, I remember like the first time meeting people in person. I met like Claire and Sands. Um, you know, other, other YouTubers and I was just, they like picked me up in an airport in San Francisco and I was just like, Internet they're friends. usually on, in 2D, but <laughs> yeah. I was like, they're real. I, I was like, Claire, <laughs> I was like, give me a hug. It was just like, oh my God. I was so nervous too. I was scared, but it's so fun meeting people in person. Mm -hmm. So I hope to see some of you guys at conventions this year. Oh, but thank you so much again, Brian. It's so great to see you here and yes, happy new year. Brian. Here we go. The Mickey pumpkin. <laughs> Very <laughs> seasonal, totally. We're, we're almost men. done with Almost it. a year, call me men. Wow, yeah, it is. I've seen a lot of uh, oh. a lot of the, the those chats. Maybe if my permits get closed. <laughs> well, here's to hoping. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, we see Nick here. Hello, hello. We got Ruben. I bought all the new Brickheads and Star Wars TIE Bomber. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, that's pretty much what we got too. And then I saw the daffodils and other stuff like that. And I was like, I don't like, I, I don't want to impulse buy, but then I'm there and I didn't even know the daffodils were coming out. And I was like, <laughs> oh, you didn't know the daffodils them. were coming no, out? No, I don't. I am bad at keeping up with stuff. I, like I should be better. I truly should be. That's my resolution is to <laughs> Stay up to date with stuff better. Yeah. I'm just kind of like existing. I don't know if you guys are this way, but I just like exist through life and I'm just having a good time. Like I'm just living, I'm having a good time. L-I-V-I-N, man. I just show up and I'm like, oh, there's new sets. Okay, like what are they? I'm just like excited. Cause like, I don't know. It's like all the hype around Lego and like release day. I saw some people like, why go on the first and not other days? And you know, I, I get it too. Like for me, it's, you know, I, you kind of have to get it on the first first day like it's it's relevant it's mm -hmm. fun it's like you know we can stream it soon and kind of like show off the new sets to people who are interested in them that that reminds but me that i want to i want to get a feel for it so like it's almost like a joke now that the austin store oh, um sorry one sec um we got a super chat from alexander thank oh, you so alexander. much for the 149 it. canadian Cad. cute little rainbow i love it or thank Cam. you so much oh it's great to have you here alex appreciate Aww. it Oh, so goes. I wanted to ask you guys because I saw a lot of mixed things online yesterday um, But it's like a joke about the Austin store. It's just for some reason. It just gets it it's, gnarly There were like 400 people yeah, there. That's there was not even ton. exaggerating. It was it was crazy and um, you know one of the things is I've only seen it. I've seen it bad three times. So yesterday was the longest I've seen it in a while uh, May the 4th when R2D2 came out was really bad uh, bad as in like long and then um, Then I think when Mario and the piano set came out it was really long so that was like oh, that 2020 was Yeah, um, and yeah, so it's just interesting But then I saw like some other vlogs and other other things and it was like yeah There's like lines of like, you know, maybe maybe up to 30 50 people But I mean nothing compared to what I saw at Austin. So I'm wondering if you guys saw Lego stores uh, Looking crazy anywhere else. Yeah, no, we got um, a lot of comments like, what is happening at your store? <laughs> yeah, like what? And I was like, honestly, I don't know either. <laughs> yeah, like I saw a lot of people said there was 10 people at my Lego store. And I was like, what? <laughs> right? No, it's it's wild. Like, even the Lego store staff was like, Why Yeah, are you, all you here? can see the fear in their face. They're just like, uh. <laughs> yeah. No, it but was I, crazy. they're like kind of trained for it. I think they're used to it. Um, I, I mean, just they want to bring ready. them like cookies or something because they're like, do such a good job. They're so sweet. <laughs> I don't oh. think they can accept them. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hey, what's going on, Shy? <laughs> oh, Andrew, thank you so much for the five dollars. Oh, thanks, Andrew. I'm buying a bunch of Lego on Bricklink. Oh, there, oh, there it is. is. <laughs> um, I'm buying a bunch of Lego on Bricklink and on Pick a Brick on Lego website. Noise, noise. Are you getting anything? Good? Are you working on something? Ooh. Yeah. Appreciate but, the support, but yeah, thank you so much, Andrew. Yeah, it's so much fun, like buying pieces. So I was at the Lego store yesterday, and I was like, why do I like this so much? Like having like the cups full of. All the oh, colorful yeah. pieces, and then I was like, maybe it's because it like kind of looks like candy. It's like a giant, you know, those candy stores, like M and M's, the M and M store at Disney Springs in Florida. I went in there, and it smelled really weird. Oh yeah, it smelled. It smells like M and M's. Well, it smelled kind of gross. I don't know. Like I don't know if you ever like I smelled M and M's, but it was kind of weird. Um, <laughs> Have you ever smelled M and M's? Like you just eat them. You don't like sniff an M and M, but like it had all of these like tubes, like dispensers of M&Ms and it was so cool and it was so fun. I was like, oh, I want to get a cup of M&Ms and I feel like it's the same kind of uh, yeah. thing. That'd be cool you if know? like Pick a Brick was like, 
like instead of uh, you had to go in there and grab it by hand like a Neanderthal, if they had like a little tube where you just like shh, and it right? just pours in. Oh, that would be cool. Um, probably a logistical nightmare though. I kept dropping pieces yesterday, and someone turned know. to me. They're like, "Happens to the best of us." It happens to the best of us. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> uh, "Yeah." That's so funny. Oh yeah. So, anyways, so the the Lego store yesterday, it was like I said, it was nuts. It was totally crazy. We got there. Let's see. It opened at noon. Which um, is weird, right? I don't like when it opens at noon, but that's normal on Sundays, um, because the lines are usually longer because it's a both a weekend and it's just later in the day. Um, but yeah, so we got there about ten thirty, and we were we were still pretty far back in line uh, for getting there at ten thirty. You know, there's probably a good forty ish people ahead of us. Yeah. Um, but then yeah, then then it, it like hex tuppled after that it was nuts um it, so like you know like so our mall is like one of those like x things where like on each like x of the the mall it's like macy's dillard's whatever um it was like almost all the way to the to the end i guess it was like a nordstrom's there it was like mostly the line was all the way down there and i was looking at it and i was like wow like, <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Like, it was it was nuts. And um so you know we made it in and oh, oh I see okay. something. I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> boss man, thank you so much. So Appreciate boss man boss wants man. to know, can we get a dog mom dab to start off twenty twenty three? Because that's what the world needs. There you go. That oh, and another one. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, then the uh, the line was like ridiculously long, and for some reason, not for some reason, but like you know, they let us all in, and I kind of liked it better during COVID restrictions when they would like, um, you know, like limit how many people came into the store, and eventually they had to just because they were just like at a certain point there were so many people that it was gonna break the fire code, so they had to start uh, closing people off and making them stay in line, but you know immediately like when i got in i just like beelined it for the star wars section which is in the back right corner grabbed me a 501st battle pack um and they just ran out of tie bombers and so the guy right behind me was really upset and i was like don't worry i think they might restock it so uh he was like oh, okay and so him and i like just kind of stayed there and we're waiting for it and i was like hovering around and i saw the lego store guy come out and he has a box and he's got probably he's got two boxes of the final first pack so he's got in total eight final first packs and eight tie bombers and like we're all huddled around and we're like i don't know what the etiquette is here um so we kind of i think we all like unanimously agreed we're not gonna grab it from his hands we're gonna wait till it gets put on the shelves so he would put it on the shelf and then someone grabbed it and i was like people like kind of weaseled in front of me and i was like <laughs> It was and then so like he put one on there and I just like reached over everyone because I'm t taller and I have long arms I just grabbed one and everybody like gave me this look and I was like I I was here before most of us so I'm gonna grab this and go <laughs> but it's a shame and that's kind of a problem we have with our store is that for some reason like they're not the biggest store in their like region so they don't get sent a lot of the sets even though there's m like ridiculously long lines so, I don't know. Ours has, like, a very long line. Yeah, always. there's a lot of hype at it's our really store. Weird. Our store is all hype, and which is good. I mean, we have a really close-knit community. There's, like, a really big lug, local lug here. And then, as well, there's just a ton of A-Falls here. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was, like, maybe seven kids in the whole store. <laughs> no, it was it was wild. Oh, um, you get caught up with Chad. Oh, my gosh. Yes, thank you, everyone, for the support. I was like, y'all need to hear this story. We're not, we're not interrupting Ross this time. Um, boss man... Thank you again so much. And Claire's Creations, welcome to Scooby oh, Snacks. Oh, welcome, welcome. I appreciate it. People are talking about sniffing M&Ms, and I'm like, why don't you? Like, yeah, I don't I don't know. I just don't. I never smell them. I, uh, anyways. I like M&Ms. Um, Rawl, thank you so much. I sniff M&Ms. Do I have a problem? Maybe. I don't. That's like for you to decide, I think. Is it a problem or is it a solution? I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know, Rawl. I got nothing. Um, I, <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Um, Carolyn, thank you so much. Oh, I really appreciate your support. I like the little, that looks like uh, my sister-in-law's dog. Oh, yeah. She has a little, like, shepherd dog. It kind of looks like that. It looks like her dog. That's I'll cute. Thank you, it. Carolyn. <laughs> and we got Bossman again, outstanding form. He likes, he likes your form, Ross. Thank You're you, doing great. You. And Pilar, so excited for the new Disney Brickheads. <gasps> Can we talk about those real quick? Oswald. Um, 
Uh, okay. Did I get that right? I saw. I, I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning because I couldn't sleep. <laughs> and I was like, Ross, wake up. Yeah, look at some like, brickheads. She's like, Ross, look. <laughs> new Disney brickheads. And I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, so we get Oswald. We get, what, Tinkerbell? Tinkerbell, Snow White. And Snow White. And who's the other one? Was it Mickey? No, it was like the girl Oswald. On, I, I don't. I, Oswalda? I don't know. I don't know. Can someone give us the names? Yeah. I, I swear remember. I like Disney. I was just like, who's, who's in that? Um, but oh my gosh, I am so excited. All the Disney sets. Can, I am. I freaked out. I was like, oh my god, Tinkerbell's so cute and Snow White. If we get, yeah. if we get a Snow White, um, minifig. Minifig. And if we get a Belle minifig. Bell. If we get, um, uh, Rapunzel. Uh, Flynn Rider, that would be amazing. I guess what we're trying to tell you is, even though Disney CMS Season 3 is supposed to be coming out soon, it's still not going to be enough, <laughs> is, is I think what Emily's trying to say. <laughs> we're going to want more. Yes. More. It's like Kylo Ren. More. <laughs> right, um, Emily's trying to get caught up oh on chat. God, I'm looking. Um, Happy New Year to you both. What are you both looking forward to the new year regarding Lego? Oh, yeah, Disney. <laughs> I Disney mean, sure. I'm always new Star Wars. Can't go wrong with it. The Disney, the 100 years of Disney, I'm really hyped up on it. Um, I'm so stoked on it. Like, I love yeah. the Disney. And that's that's really how I kind of got Emily into Lego, was a mixture of some old Scooby-Doo sets. And uh, at the time when Emily started getting into Lego, it was when CMF Disney you, Season Torres. 2. Thanks, Kitty. Um, CMF two of disney was coming out and that was pretty uh it was funny because like i took her to target and i was like check it out and i was showing her how to do feelies on all the things <laughs> that's what we call it and yeah. uh she was pretty <laughs> impressed with me guys i got huey dewey and louie first try which is and, impossible yeah and Almost. so and it was funny like this target mom came by i was like laughing like are you guys trying to feel them out and it was like yeah and then one time we were doing it and uh, this kid wanted some Mario ones, I think, CMFs. And, uh, like, the pair came up and was like, could you could you feel out which one? Like, he's looking for these. So I helped, like, the, the kid, like, find the ones he wanted. <laughs> but, yeah, I really enjoyed doing feelies. So I'm, I am sad about the boxes. I really hope the boxes don't stick. Um, honestly, like, I really want the Mario ones. I'm just, like, I'm not willing to gamble on yeah. these boxes. I'm just not um but yeah i'll let you get keep getting caught up with chat um oh, <laughs> um ruben thank you so appreciate much for your it, support ruben. i really appreciate it um yeah happy new year ruben here let's get on here also y'all i just want to let you guys know that we are almost done with the pumpkin we just have the ears left and if it would focus the color's wonky but we only have the ears left look at that that's crazy we're like almost done i'm excited to like start something that's more seasonally appropriate seasonally appropriate <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, Ruben, thank you so much. Here, let's, I don't know where to put it now. Okay, there we go. Man, we got 293. Awesome, guys. Make sure to like that smash button. Oh, thanks, Let guys. Let people know. Know where to find yeah. us. Man, where the fun wow. is. <laughs> it's awesome. It's Ruben, so you're on the little ear. Eek. There we go. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, let's see. Excited for all the new sets. Mine is coming in the mail. Speed Champions, the Skyline. Uh, so me and Ross were talking before this, and everyone was talking about a Skyline set, and we thought it was like an architecture thing. I didn't know it was a car, um, like from Speed Champions. We were just like, uh, apparently everyone's all excited about architecture now. Like, yeah, yeah, everyone know. was like the Skyline set. I'm like, what's a Skyline set? <laughs> I thought it was like a New York Skyline. <laughs> yeah, or something. that's what I was thinking. I was like, what was going on? Like Josh was I'm there, so confused. and he was like, oh, can you see if the Skyline set's there? And I was like. Yeah, man. What are you talking about? I didn't. I didn't know it was a car. I'm not a car guy. Yeah, we Sorry. don't. <laughs> <laughs> We're not into the that as much. Skyline. But then, uh, yeah. So some of the really big sets. You know, there's some sets there that I wish, not I wish we got, but because I'm, I can always just go get them later. Um, you know, for the most part, we were just there trying to get enough for the gift with purchase, and then the the two sets we were really there for is the five hundred first and the bomber um everything else is just kind of let's just try to get to that 200 mark yeah um yeah we just really wanted the gift with purchase and i mean there, i don't think we bought anything like really on a whim like all, everything that i got i'm like excited about and the, the lord of the rings stuff like i haven't seen it yet but i did promise ross you guys i have never seen lord of the rings but i promised ross that at some point soon today 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 uh, today as long as it's not the extended cut oh we were watching the extended cut 
We are watching we have... Fellowship of the Ring today. She said that if I made a Lord of the Rings themed party, which I count building Lord of the Rings brickheads as part of the party, that we're going to do it. We almost picked up a Lord of the Rings cookbook the other day, um, but the problem is there wasn't enough pictures in it, and I like pictures. We the need recipe. the pictures. Like, yeah. how do you know what you're cooking if you can't see a picture? So we picked up an Ina Garden cookbook instead. I love <laughs> it. We've been cooking good food, and, like, I am not like a good zooms. cook. I'm really not... But like Ross is, and so he's been like cooking a lot, and it's it's amazing. My family makes fun of me. It's they so say good. I'm domesticated because I like to put on the apron and everything, and I love. Cooking. He loves his apron. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, I hate cleaning, and I'm really bad at it. Um, so that's kind of our thing. It's so really, I get the yeah, with the, all this crazy inflation going on, it's like all right, we need to cook more, which is also why we really like like Hello Fresh. Yeah. Um, and it's oh, so nice because it like baby feeds it yeah, to it you. Yeah, it just like holds your hand through it. Like, like I've learned so much. It's from actually it. hard for me to look at other cookbooks because in other cookbooks they have a picture of just like the end recipe, mm -hmm. but like in HelloFresh they like here's how this piece should look and I'm like oh thank you and I'm like here's how this <laughs> next and I'm like how should I cut this and it gives you all the instructions through it so really that's what I do like about HelloFresh. Oh one time can I tell them about the time I made pancakes? <laughs> So I was trying to make pancakes, right? And I was like trying to learn how to cook. And I was like, I'm gonna surprise my husband with a great pancake breakfast. He's gonna love it. Turns out he's a waffle guy. Um, I do like waffles more. So that's unfortunate. Belgian waffles. But yeah, so I, I get down there, I'm cooking pancakes. And I was so excited, but it was like almond flour ones. Cause like we have a keto book. We're not really keto, but we have a keto cookbook. Um, and they all fell apart because it didn't like stick together that well and I'm like bad at it And I had him try it and he was just like I can't eat these these taste like <laughs> Well, what did I say? I was like, I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. These are the worst scrambled eggs I've ever had <laughs> And she was like they're pancakes <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? But yeah, they um yeah, no, it's like, tough love. Yeah, um, I, I didn't feel bad about it because I was like, "How did? What do you mean these were pancakes?" And she was like, "Well, I used the almond flour instead of like real flour." And I was like, "Oh, yeah, no wonder. Nobody ever makes anything good with almond flour." Yeah. So that's why it turned out bad. It wasn't. And if you do, you. then congrats. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, John, oh, thank you so much for your super chat. Happy New Year's, Emily and Ross. I'm John from Seoul, Korea. Oh, cool. Welcome, I always wanted welcome. to go to Seoul. I've been subscribing to your channel for two months. Oh, thanks so much, John. For welcome, here. welcome. Hey, look, there's Hosh away from Josh Build Stuff. Oh, is Josh here? <laughs> Aw. Hi, Josh. We saw Josh yesterday at the Lego store. It was awesome. And John, thank you again so much here. Let's get you on here. John. John. Awesome. Thank you so much. Nick Gundy says he's going to watch it. Extended cut only, bud. I'm there with you. John. It's the only cut I talk. Honestly, the the non the theatrical version is actually not that good, in my opinion. The, you gotta watch the, the extended cut. So I don't know. What do you think, chat? Four hours of your day. Oh God. <laughs> Times three. <laughs> I'm like not excited for it, but like I, I hope I like it. It's such a great franchise. Because otherwise, that's like four hours of time. Um. Oh, Bellaman! Thanks for joining Scooby Snacks. Here, let's get you on the board real quick. Let's see. Oh, so Speed Champions is coming out with more cars in March. That's good. Speed Champions. I really like that line, even though I'm not like, again, I don't really collect it. It's just, I like what it's done to the Lego community because it's brought in this whole new wave of like, uh, like what I see, and maybe you guys can confirm it. It's like mostly like, uh, like Hot Wheels kids, you know, kids that really <laughs> like Hot Wheels and stuff like that, or just like model cars and stuff. And it's like, oh, now Lego has these like premium, small, like it's perfect. I think it's the perfect thing. And I love that scale. Is because you know it's affordable. You don't have to get like the big, like the Ecto One back there. You know, you can just have like little tiny cars. It's kind of the same with like the Batmobiles. Like I really like the last few years they've been doing the small Batmobiles. Appreciate, appreciate it. Um, Happy New Year. Oh, so fun fact, y'all. It's actually not that fun, but I don't know if you're here. Might as well tell you. So I do have a Scooby Doo hot. Ross, I'm gonna break my camera. <laughs> <laughs> like shooting. I try to aim it at the lens. <laughs> Just like shatters. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I'd be in trouble. Oh my god, that'd be funny. <laughs> god, that'd be funny. But yeah, so fun fact, um, I have a Scooby Doo Hot Wheels. Um, that is a fun fact. Yeah, that's, that, that was it. <laughs> I really like it. And I, I think it's neat. No. Paul, thank you so much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well, Paul. Here you are on Mickey's ear. <laughs> Thanks so much. 
<laughs> Let's see, John's asking, um, can you guys find minifig series 23 where you are? It's hard to find them in Korea. Yeah, we got them. I think, is that the most recent one or Wait, is that 24? 24 just came out. Yeah. There's so many. Yeah, I, both 23 and 24 we're able to find, but being in a different hemisphere, it could be totally different. Yeah. I mean, even just like region to region, some things are easier to mm -hmm. find than others. Um, but yeah, we are able to find them pretty easily here. I got Target. They still had them. They had like both of the recent series, like right next to each other, which is kind of cool. Uh, is it Corny Lich is asking, do I play Jedi Fallen Order? So I heard the game is great. Um, the real problem with me is I have like a horrible attention span to those RPG games. I like, I just play first person shooters. Like I love Star Wars Battlefront. I play a lot of Overwatch, Halo, that kind of stuff. Um, so unfortunately I, I never did play it because I just, I just can't do those kinds of games for some, I like, I, I don't mostly because of the time commitment. Like, you know, first person shooters, I can go on, play, you know, 30, 45 minutes, play three games and get off. Like I don't, I don't game hard. I just game often. <laughs> um, so I, I never got into it, but I, you know, I, and I have it, I own it. I just, I tried it and I was like, ah, I can't, I can't do this. Um, and so I think I just need to watch like the cutscenes cause I've heard it's an amazing game. I believe it is. I just, I can't get into it. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> You're doing your best, Ross. I know. It's okay. Speaking of doing my best, so I did build the 501st uh, battle pack here. Yeah, so this show is pretty world. cool. It reminds me, they've made this cannon. This is the third time rendition of this cannon. And the second time, it's came in a battle pack of this size. I have the larger one that came with the wolf pack troopers, which are pretty cool. Um, and then, I think the main thing, you know, looking at the, the helmets here. I'm trying to remember how the... I should have brought them out. They do look a little bit different than they look on the box. Um, but I don't think they look as bad as Maybe the... Maybe use this as a backdrop? It's kind of hard to see them. Oh, yeah. yeah it's <laughs> Knocks them <hard>. over. <laughs> I mean, it's just going to be hard for you guys to see them either way. We have to cover our faces up. But um, you guys have seen these all over the internet anyway. It's all over the Instagrams. But I, I'm pretty happy with them. I do. I think I do kind of share that same sentiment most people have. Um, I like that they added the holes in the helmets, but I wish they, it, they put it in the right spot. Like, it's just too high, and it looks really dorky. And then the fact that, you know, the this is the one with the antenna on the top, it looks different than, you know, where it, what it looks like in the front of the box. And I'm like, it's kind of uh, misleading. Um, so, I don't know. I hope they correct that or do something about it, but I don't think they will. You know, usually when LEGO comes out with a new mold, we're stuck with it for 12 years. <laughs> um, so, what are you going to do? I'm still anti... I still don't like the Stormtroopers that come out today. I wish they would go back. The Rogue One Stormtroopers were like the best, but the, the ones after that, they look like the Family Guy Stormtroopers. <laughs> All right. I see something from oh, Ron. Lego Granddad. Lego Granddad. Oh, Appreciate thank you so it. Much. Thanks so much. It's great to see you here, Ron. Man. <laughs> um, yeah. Happy New Year. I like a little, what is that? Hippo? Man, I don't even know what that is. I like is, the little hippo like guy. <laughs> it's a cool hippo. But it's great to see you here, Ron. I hope you're having a good new year and hopefully got a lot of fun Lego goodies. Had fun with the family. Bag four. All right, guys. I'm starting on the bomber. I'm so excited about this. Three, two, one. There you are. Ron, there we go. <laughs> Thank you again, Ron. I really appreciate it. It's great to see you here. Hey. I think I saw High Tea Toys. High Toys, what's going on? Hey, how are you? Man, yeah, it's been a while since my last stream, but I'm so happy to see you here. Aw. How is everything going, Johanna? How is life? How is Lego? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the modular? Ooh. Oh, yeah, so modular. Um, they only had... So at first, like, I, I, I thought they were stacked at modulars at my store. Um, but it turns out when I was looking through, they only had 15 modulars, and then they had a bunch of the great wave sets next to it. And I just thought those were more modulars, so I was like, "Oh, dude, they got like 50 modulars. They're oh, they're yeah. they're gonna they're gonna make it." Uh, um, no, they got obliterated, just completely. Like with the Star Wars sets, the modulars were just Thanos snapped away. Because what you have to do at our Lego store is like they have them behind the counter, so you basically like just get in line. You just go up there and you get in yeah. line and you check out, and then you get anything else you want. So it's hard to get like the modular and yeah. other stuff. Like if you want to get the Star Wars, weird. you have to go grab it, 
really the the main key if you want something you, you should probably bring someone else or go with a buddy or something right i just got so overwhelmed yeah like i like once i got in there emily's like what are we gonna do and i was like go straight to star wars i did <laughs> not yeah i didn't even know out. where ross went i, I was like where is he he lined it for star wars i just got lord of the rings brick heads that was like my first stop and i was like is this is even this right that one did i was surprised because i mean i wanted them too but i was like whatever i'll come and get that at the end it's not gonna be a big deal and then yeah emily came back with lord of the rings brick heads and they were at and someone else asked us like oh where'd you get those and uh, we turned around and the shelf was empty. And I was like, what? Yeah. But they did restock it, but they did run out still. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. I think mostly because, you know, I'm not the biggest Brickhead guy, but yeah. I, love, collectible. Yeah, I, I love Lord them. of the Rings. And so I was really excited about that. And because of that, you know, I like, I want them to build more Lord of the Rings sets. And, and so that's why we ended up getting them. Plus, I mean, I just love Lord of the Rings. How could I not? I might bring those to work, actually. But, yeah, I was, like, even the Lego Lord of the Rings stuff was just, like, gone. Um, so, I guess, yeah, we'll see in time how things are going. Because, you know, yesterday was nuts being the opening and all that. But I, I also wonder, you know, be, because of, you know, the price increases and just inflation in general, I'm wondering if long-term, you know, maybe the hype stuff still goes quick. But then long-term, I don't know if it'll continue to feed that or not so it's kind of interesting to see how the, the whole thing works yeah no i'm really interested with like yeah like what ross is saying the price increases because i didn't think there'd be as many people as there were at the lego store like again if you're like just joining and you didn't hear it earlier there were like 400 people in the line at the lego store and mm. like we were like 40th we got there an hour ahead of time which to be fair it was like the stuff we wanted was mostly available at like target or walmart so it's not like we were there for the modular, you know, and like you need to get it there. But the line was just crazy. And I didn't expect that because there's so many like price increases and, you know, like, yeah, I just figured yeah, people I think, would still be excited. Yeah, I was but... like, oh, yeah, it's not going to be too crazy. Yeah. No, it was I like what Nick insane. is saying, uh, wanting to add more dual molded um, legs to the, uh, the Star Wars sets. That is something that I, I've noticed, too. Like, even now, I'm kind of um well i'm kind of happy that the darth vader at least has the arm print in like that's really nice so this is my first arm printed darth vader uh other than i guess the best been dual set but i'm not planning on opening that um but yeah like it was kind of cool so the build a minifigs this that just they're came out cute. we didn't get them but like next time we go to the store we're gonna stack up i was up thinking on about them. going today I was yeah just like, I was they, overwhelmed. they have like the little tugboat but it's a different color than the one in the cmf and they also had a lot of white legs with black boots like a dual molded ones and those are perfect if you want to uh like up your imperial army put all your like uh isb officers you can swap them out like thrawn looks really good with the black boots so i will say if you if you are looking for a lot of the dual molded stuff go to the build a minifig at your lego store and you might be able to find at least the white ones but i would like more gray with black boots as well um i think it it's just it would just really enhance the the figures a little bit more Aww. Yeah, no, the, the build a mini fig was really good. Yeah. Um, we have some people here. We have Lego oh, yeah. Ray. Thank you so much hey, for your Lego support. Hey, Lego Ray, appreciate Aww, it. Thank you so much. Thank you. That looks like your sister, your sister's doggy again. Oh yeah, I love it does. that one. The little red fox. It's so cute. And we got big little bricks saying hi, Emma Source and Ross. Howdy, howdy. Me and my mom have been subscribed for two years. Wow. That's cr wow. You watched. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see those yeah, videos. Yeah, the evolution of Emma Source. <laughs> I hope it's gotten better. <laughs> I love all your Lego content. Thank you. Oh, that means Aww. a lot. I really appreciate it. Emily that. works really hard on it. Aw, thanks. Yeah, no, it's been fun. Like, my my goal has always been, like, have fun with it. You know, it's like Lego, if, you know. Again, I know it's, like, cheesy, but it's, like, if you're not having fun building Lego, like, you're doing it wrong. And that's kind of, like, my attitude for 2023. I'm just, like, having <laughs> fun and, like, living. I'm just... l i v i -ing, I'm just being me, having a good time. So this is someone saying, uh, Power Ranger Legos, imagine it. I can't imagine it. They already have Power Ranger Legos. It's called uh, Ninjago. Oh, Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ninjago. It's pretty much, yeah, I think Shy's the one who said that the first time. And I was like, you're right, uh, Ninjago is pretty much just Power Rangers. Um, keeping it classy. Aww. Um, let's see, keeping up. Hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, Nick's saying he did the same thing with the Thrawn. Um, yeah, the dual molded legs are just super awesome. Uh, Ladybird is taking a nap in the other room. We had to sequester her She's during the streams bird. because um, she just wants to. Yeah, she just wants to get on my lap and like, just like breathe. And she's like, 
<laughs> and I'm like, what do you want? Um, mostly she just wants to play or go on a walk, but um, she gets that every night, so don't yeah. worry. No, um, she is taken care of. Yeah, she just wants it. Every day she wants it earlier in the day, and I'm like, well, then you're going to get bored at night, and then these are conversations I have with my dog. Um, man. Hashtag live in dot your world. Right, Christian? That's that's my energy, you dot know? Dot your world. Hashtag dot your world. Um, yeah, so I want to talk about this Thai bomber, actually. Um, so, again, really excited. You know, for those of you guys who don't remember, or maybe you're newer to the community, but a few years ago, LEGO put out a poll for what UCS set that we wanted. And it was funny because it became like a whole internet meme. So it was between the Nebulon B bomber, or forget, the Thai bomber, and the UCS gunship. And we all remember who won, Gunship Gang. Um, but if you remember, like, a History big, lesson. yeah, a whole big thing about it was, is, like, that's not to say we don't want the frigate and we don't want the TIE Bomber, but I don't think we really necessarily want a UCS TIE Bomber. And even a frigate, I, I'd be cool with a UCS frigate, but I, I'd be cooler with a playset version of it. Um, and we did, you know, if you were in the U.S. and you were lucky, we do have one, um, uh, that a friend of us sent to us, but, uh, the Nebulon B frigate. Uh, did kind of come out, so unfortunately not everyone could get that one. But then, uh, you know, everyone was like, well, we want a Thai bomber. And I remember LEGO was like, well, we just can't really, you know, for the cost it would take to build a Thai bomber, you know, it would be like a, a $100 set, and it's too obscure of a ship to, to get away with that. Um, so I'm glad they kind of went to this new scale. From what I've heard other people say, this this one fits really well with the, the previous Thai fighter, the smaller one. Um, so I'm excited to see them together, but I have the old school 2003 TIE Bomber and that thing is a piece of junk. <laughs> like all those old OG like Lego Star Wars sets are pretty bad, uh, but like in a cute way. I mean, they were good for what they were at the time, but that like they do way. not look good. Like, you know, like the, I'd say 2008 and on, that's when like things I think still kind of hold up to today's standards, but like anything before 2008 was kind of rough. Um... <laughs> 2005, 2006 were okay as well, but uh, yeah, like the 2003, eesh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really happy to see we finally got a new TIE Bomber. Um, and then as for like a TIE Interceptor, we haven't gotten in a while, but it's really easy to just modify the TIE Fighter that's out now to a TIE Interceptor, so I don't think we necessarily need that. So I'm super stoked about this TIE Bomber. Um, I love that it has the little, uh, the bombing feature on it, so you can bomb Han Solo while he's hiding in the crater. Um, I'm just really stoked about this TIE Bomber. And then Ray Sloan, too. I'm so glad they added her, so, um, if you don't know who Ray Sloan is, I'm actually surprised LEGO did add her, because I'm like, she's kind of obscure. Uh, she was a main character in the Aftermath trilogy, uh, which is some of the, the first Star Wars books that came out after Disney bought Star Wars. And she's really cool. Um, she's a very interesting character because I think, you know, she has like a good heart in the end and she's just doing what she thinks is right. But, uh, you know, she's also on the Empire side. So, uh, there's a lot going on there. And then her character kind of like at, at the end of the series, I won't spoil it too much, but it has been like six years. Uh, her <laughs> character kind of, you know, goes off and you're like, wait, so what happened? You know, so I, I am curious to see if she comes back in another way. There was speculation that she was in Rebels. She was just non-named. Um, so in two of the Rebels episodes, you see someone who at least looks like her, but everyone kind of speculates it's her. Um, so you kind of see her on screen for a little bit, maybe. So, yeah, there's my, my Ray Sloan history. Wow. And it's pronounced Sloan, not Sloan. Um, oh, that, I don't <laughs> think anyone thought that it was. I've heard people <laughs> say oh. Sloan, and I was like, it's Sloan. But I guess if you didn't listen to the audiobook, how would you know? You gotta listen to the audiobook. That's that's essential. Yeah. So people are asking about a bluey Lego ideas set. Oh yeah. So are, are they asking about it? We saw one. What our thoughts are. Um so if you guys don't know, uh Bluey is kind of our guilty pleasure show. <laughs> it's it's really relaxing. I had a pretty stressful um end of the year at my job and it was kind of nice. Uh, we found this show. Like, I just heard about it on, like, Instagram reels. People were making, like, talking about, like, wow, this show's actually really good for adults. And I was like, yeah, let's go watch it. Let's just see what it's about. It's on Disney+. Plus. Who cares? And um, I would tell you, if you're if you want to just kind of watch a show that's, like, low anxiety, really, the art is beautiful. The, the conversations are actually, like, really well done. It's really well written. It's Australian propaganda at the end of the day 
But yeah, it was just a really nice show. So I definitely recommend it to anybody who who is like kind of heard about it. But it's definitely a show that's like meant for kids, but like also meant for adults. It's um, cute. So we just recently saw that one of there's a Lego Ideas Bluey's house that made it. And I was curious in my head. I was like, I don't think these would look. These characters would look good in minifigure scale. But I saw the idea set, and they're about the same size as like the Mario character packs, uh, or the characters in there. And I was like, that's perfect. I think that would be a perfect like Bluey set. So I'd be I'd be really excited if they ended up making a Bluey set. I hope it becomes a thing. Yeah, I would buy it. I'd, I'd be so excited. I'd endorse it. Um, I love it's, Bluey. It's a great show. <laughs> Definitely. If you have kids, there's no way you haven't heard of it. Um, it's just totally wiped all the stores clean. I was trying to find a Bluey plush, and I still haven't. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on we'll it. We'll get there. One day. <laughs> oh, man. Um, oh, God. The Lego Eiffel Tower. Ivan. That's that's awesome. Um, so, yeah. Ivan's working on building the Eiffel Tower. Oh, nice. You're going to be building it for a while. <laughs> I So, Ivan actually... My, my mom built most of it. During Thanksgiving, she came and had Thanksgiving with us. Yeah, and we, like we I was like, it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, go ahead and have, have fun, mom. Like I, I don't really want to like build it. Like it, it, it looks like it'll be amazing done, but I don't want to build it. You know, like some sets just look more fun. Um, you know, to just have and not build. Um, but yeah, it's still two of the three boxes are done. So yeah, we have I haven't touched it. Third since, box left. So working on it. Uh, Gravity Falls. I love Gravity Falls, Harrison. I would love Lego sets of it. I doubt they'll ever do it, but yeah, I would so... love that. Oh my gosh. Like, the little mystery shock. That would be such a cool one. Oh gosh. And then Lego Friends set. My favorite one is definitely this one. It's just like the biggest. This one's awesome. Most substantial. Oh, what like. do you guys think of the TikTok house sets? Um, I'm sure Lego probably doesn't want to, want us to say it that way, you know, like, no, 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 it's not a TikTok. They're just, they're you just know, they're just the like, bedrooms. It's so much funnier thinking that they're yeah. TikTok houses. Well, like the other day, our friends were showing us, they saw like a, a wooden furniture or like, you know, like a wooden toy of an, inf like a vlogging kit. And it was like a wooden ring light and a wooden camera. So and I was like, oh man, I mean, it's so true. Cause like, we're looking at the Lego set and you know, the Lego set even comes with a, a ring light in one of the bedrooms and they're like filming a cooking YouTube video. And then, you know, there's another one where the girl is a Twitch streamer um isn't that like, yeah. a, like a wooden one though that's that was so I, I thought it was cool so it's like you know imaginative and actually i like it because it's like safer right if, if your kids are like imagining to play with just a fake camera you yeah. know you don't have to worry about anything and so i kind of like that but what was really funny is you know emily made this video about like lego made a tiktok house and it was funny and my favorite thing was there's a lot of people who, uh, and I don't think they're really necessarily people who like follow Emily that much. They're just, I didn't recognize a lot of the names. And, you know, a lot of the comments were like, I don't like, you know, social media and Lego mixing. And uh, we were like, S Sir, as you're watching, like, you're on a Lego <laughs> YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that was kind of an interesting, uh, you know, analysis yeah. of what happened there but it is true you know like my nieces and nephews they're all super you know all of them want to be a, a youtuber a twitch streamer or something or another Crazy. so i'm like it makes sense that the toys that are coming out even if they're not electronic like the friend sets like it does make sense that they're you can still play you know as yeah like yeah like so but i don't know so my favorite my favorite character is nova because she <laughs> looks cool yeah. Uh, and she, she just looks like, like Enid from Wednesday. She does. And like. she has like a really cool vibe about her. And she's the one who comes, uh, if you see her set, she has like a Twitch um, stream going on. She's gaming with her buddy. And I'm like, I don't know, man. It is really cool. I thought it was really cool Lego did that. I'm really hyped up on the Friends reboot. Um, it's I, cool. I, the, the whole Friends like wave this year is just really good. Um, so I definitely recommend it. No, they're really fun sets, and, like, it's cool that it's more modern now. Yeah. Like, I like yeah. the boxes, too. I like that they got rid of the little weird yeah. curves on the boxes. There's no more, like, curves on the yeah, boxes. Yeah, it had, like, it's weird... A big square. Weird things. And I, I like the colors on it. Love. It's nice. It's more... Because it used to be very, like, pink and purple and, like, light yellow, and, like, there was definitely a Friends color palette, and, like, to be fair, there still is, but, like... It's more jewel tones now, I think. Like, mm -hmm. they're switching it up. Like, yeah. And I really like that. So. Um, yeah, it's definitely working. It's more modern. Or, you know, it's keeping up with them. So I, I will say, if you're a friend's designer and you're watching this, it's weird. Lego's always watching. But uh, um, keep it up, man. <laughs> this, those are great. Uh, I think, I honestly think, 
This is my hot take. I think the Friends design team are the best. Like, I think they... They, they are they, definitely having the most fun. They do the most experimental builds. Like, they just go crazy. I'm like, because, you know, like, Lego Star Wars, gray and pokey sets. Gray and pokey <laughs> ships. Left and right. I mean, because it's based on something. Exactly, like, yeah. To, and so, good. but then with the, uh, man, with the friend stuff, they just go nuts. Like, this this set in particular, you know, the weird angle, the architecture. I was listening to um, Claire, who's an architect, talk about it. I was, like, so fascinated with it. I'm like, wow, man, Friends is so cool. And uh, it makes me happy. Just building friend sets is just really happy. Wait, this is the coolest bed build I've ever done. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so y'all need to see this. So it's, um, oh, gosh. Hide my face. This is, like, not focusing. Ah! Well, here's the front of it. Here, let's try that again. <laughs> okay. Focus! Um, but on the bottom, it has these little, like, spoky things, and then, like, the clear piece to hold it up, but, like... It looks like it has little, like, you know, like the modern. What is it? Like the fifties? You can you you can look now. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was reading chat. Uh, <laughs> it looks like the what mid century? I don't I don't know furniture, but it looks. I don't know. It's a cool build. It's cool. I like it. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I see someone asking about uh, what do you think about Lego Wednesday sets? Okay. Ooh. I think I would just be totally what happy. Do I don't think we need a Wednesday set. I can but... see a brickheads. I could see Brickheads. I could see them actually doing that. I would love just a CMF. That's that's really it. I, I would like the whole Adams Family CMF, mm. and I'd be happy with that. Um, I guess realistically, I don't know how they would do that. Uh, but uh, And I would probably, in my hot take, I would prefer it to be based off of like the cartoon or like the 90s looking, like the original uh, Adams Family, more so than the, uh, um, the more modern one. Although, I love Wednesday. It was <laughs> such a good show. It was good. No, I really liked that. <laughs> I loved it. But that, that was when I started learning. I was like, oh, man, TikTok's really taking over because, uh, <laughs> like, Emily suggested it. And was like, we should watch Wednesday. And I was like, what's that? And she's like, I don't know. I think it's about Wednesday Adams. And I was like, oh, the Adams <laughs> family. Like, I, I used to watch some of that as a kid. That was kind of like the counterculture was, you know, the Adams family. And um, but then she's like, yeah, everybody's talking about it on TikTok. And I was like. Well, I guess we should watch it so we're not behind. And uh, I'm glad we did because I think we watched it before like the big wave of it happened. I think so. Uh, yeah. So we didn't get any spoilers or anything. Which I got it spoiled a little bit. I was oh upset. yeah, you were the last episode. And I was like, who do you spoiled. think? You know, because it's like a big mystery the whole time. And I was like, who do you think it'll be? And I was like, full on knowing what was happening. Yeah, I, I was yeah. bummed. So close, mm. almost made it. But yeah, I would love to see a uh, uh, thing. Yeah, I would recommend if you have some free time. Wednesday is definitely a good one. Woo! Um, what else do you think? I, I'm wondering how they would do the thing, right? Which is, you know, the hand or thing. Sorry, not the thing. I don't know how they would make a hand CMF, though. Yeah. I they would know. have to just do a printed piece, most likely. Yeah. Um, which is, I, I get that. That is kind of a hard one to make. Um, then, but there's a lot of other characters that weren't in Wednesday that were Adam's family related. Again, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone, but it's more about Wednesday Adams than it is about the Adams family. But I would like to see like more of the Adams family people. Like, who's that fuzzy guy? There's like a guy that's just like, I think oh, it's it. Thing? Oh, it. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What about so Stranger Things? I've already done oh, Stranger yeah. Things. Can you imagine more Stranger Things sets? <laughs> like the what? What was that house called? Season four. Oh. Uh, the, that the murder house yeah right whatever that was that would have been a really cool set that would have been because they but only how many came out haunted with that houses one. do we need i feel like we've got a lot of we need a houses. lot ross there's still a haunted there's the disney haunted mansion is still out and we also have the haunted house like uh fairgrounds ride is still out god i would love it claire's here plastic architect hey hey yo, yo, oh, yo. hello man but yeah no stranger things y'all i would love that that'd be amazing yeah i think it's weird because this last season of Stranger Things, again, won't spoil it for anyone, but it gets pretty dark. It starts off really dark, and I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know if Lego would <laughs> want to throw their name on that one. But I did love how crazy like the hype got for that one Stranger Things set. That literally, it retired like the year before season four came out. Oh, I got it. And, oh, I got it. There you go. Thanks. So I'm glad we picked it up. We still haven't built it, but... Um, it's just in the box. I'm so scared. Like, yeah. are you guys this way too? Where if you have like a set that's really special or like, you know, meaningful or just like expensive, you just never build it? Like, 
I'm waiting for the perfect time. I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna keep it forever, but I just don't know, like, when to build it. But I'm thinking season five of Stranger Things, because, like... That's what we said for season four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just didn't happen. Need to see Scooby-Doo Haunted Mansion when? Hopefully at some point, but... I would just has love... The I want the, like, the Ecto-1. I would just want a mystery machine of that size. Like, so what's interesting, I saw, like, a whole analysis about the Scooby-Doo wave, is it didn't sell well, except for one set obviously the mystery machine right Ooh. and the mystery machine has skyrocketed in price from what it started at um the figures have also done really well because there was only one wave right but um so it's interesting i was like i think if they're gonna do scooby-doo they just need to make the whole gang and put them oh, into just a cmf no no well i would love a cmf so that's <laughs> the missed opportunity was when the scuba movie came out i um i think that would have been a perfect thing to put with the lego sets or to for lego to pair with them because they had not only was it scooby-doo it was a lot of hanna barbera characters in it um like blue falcon uh the the dog that like laughs really funny he's like <laughs> oh uh, wait what's that dog's name let me know uh uh dick dastardly uh the the caveman guy like that would have been awesome lego should have really it would have been a great time for Lego to do something with Scooby-Doo because it was a Scoob movie. There was, like, the Blue Falcon's jet. That would have made a perfect set. You could have made another mystery machine. So I am sad that they didn't do it. That would have been the perfect time for it. Mm. But, oh, well. Um, bring back Scooby. Bring back Hashtag Scooby. Hashtag more Scooby. <laughs> <laughs> Muttley. Thanks, Muttley, Brandon. there you go. Yes, Muttley. Um, with the wacky races. Oh, gosh, that was so... Um, wacky races, that would have been a cool theme, too. I just want CMFs. Lego, if you're watching. Yeah, CMFs of that. I will single-handedly keep that theme afloat. I can do it. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> I have, like, three mystery machines. I'm just like, please, yeah. bring it back. You do, huh? I, I do. bought you one yeah. new a long time ago, and you built it. Then we bought a used one that was already built, and then I bought her another new one. It's just new in box. I have one that's yeah. open for in here, one that's open in the Lego City, yeah. and then one just in case what? that's still <laughs> new in box. That <laughs> SNL skit with <laughs> adult Star Wars fans is like <laughs> one on the shelf and one – what is what is it? One. I think one to stock and one to rock. I think that's the – if you buy two. Um, um, but then it's like for the Lego or for the Star Wars action figures, it's like, oh, <laughs> one to open, one to uh, store, and one just in case. So you buy, <laughs> buy three of everything. Yep. Uh, I don't think that's That's me and my one. mystery machines. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. But I, I like the one to stock, one to rock more. Yeah. Uh, what was that? I think it was something they said on uh, She Hulk, actually. <laughs> She-Hulk was weird. I, I really she liked Hulk. it. That was a great one. That was fun. Oh, man. Man, Hashtag we got 324. Y'all, awesome. thanks for hanging thanks out. Thanks for spending your day off, hopefully, from New Year's. Um, <laughs> Everyone needs to Make sure off. to like that smash button. And subscribe if you're new. <laughs> appreciate, appreciate it. it. Um, oh, hang around. Oh. to read more comments. Ross, do you watch Breaking Bad? I did watch Breaking Bad. I have not. Ago. I have not seen it. I did see a comment earlier about our Lego City update. So, we've been working on the Lego City so much like i actually just i got a gopro because when i'm working on the city it's hard because like i want to do a time lapse but then like you know that's my i would use my phone for it and then i'm like i'm kind of bored because that's usually my entertainment is like listening to music or something on my phone but now i have a gopro and y'all it's crazy it's like shoots in 5k and like i didn't even know i didn't even know that was a thing no i, I had no idea i thought k only went to four. Oh yeah I've, i have no idea what every kiss means. begins with k <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> but yeah, so Lego City update coming soon. Hopefully, like this week. We've really actually gotten a lot done finally. Like, I know I keep saying it, but this time we actually have. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. We're doing it. We're doing it. Thoughts on Lego 18 plus sets? Um, I think it's nice that icons they're like marketing now. it. Yeah, it's like icons. Um, I mean, I like that they're marketing it towards adults. I don't know. Like, I've never felt bad buying a Lego set. Like, some people walk into Target and, like, feel weird if they're an adult buying it. And I've never felt that. But I think, I'm wondering if they're meaning more of, like, these bigger ones. Like, the, I think people like to think about, like, Hogwarts Express, um, Black Panther, Hulkbuster, maybe even the Paris Eiffel Tower. Um, I, think I think some of it's a little overboard. I think... I think the numbers show for themselves is that, you know, they they did end up putting a lot of those on sale already. Like, you go online to lego.com and they're already reduced. 
up to like 30 percent um and i think you know it's no surprise i think we all knew that lego kind of overdid it i think with a lot of these big sets they you know you have to remember the whole design process takes like almost two years so if you remember 2020 nuts right two years ago everything was selling out you couldn't even buy a flower bouquet it was insane i right? tried they and mean. they were like it was all for adults like adults welcome like what they were like and and they had just lucked out because they just started advertising more to adults anyways so like kind of came at the perfect time 2020 so that's when they probably had these sets like the black panther bust and hogwarts express all kind of you know planned out and then add on to that the economy kind of shifted and so people are spending less on on you know art pieces like this and so i do think that hopefully lego kind of like learns to like dial it back just a little bit you know <laughs> i think uh you know when you say 18 plus sets it's a really right wide range and there's a lot of winners and then there's just a, some that just don't do as well and that's just the reality of it um so that's kind of it i mean i think that they they need to work a little bit better with the pricing and then just some of these big sets, I think it's hard for people to want. Yeah. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze and I was able to quickly mute the mic. I was like, mic. what's happening? <laughs> We're under attack. Ooh. Um, Winnie. Hello, hello, Winnie. So excited to go to Emily's Bricks and Mini Face. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a good story. Yeah, I really like it. I, it was nice. So um, they got the day off yesterday. So, you know, we know all those guys really well. And yeah. they were all at the Lego store. It's always fun. I think kind of circling back to one of the earlier conversations about um, the Lego store on release day, uh, why there's like so much hype. I, a lot of it is just the community. Like I love going. There's a few other YouTubers that we know in town, other people on social media that we know. But there's also... Just people we know from the lug. We have a lot of friends around town that are all into the Lego. And then even the people who work at Bricks and Minifigs and, and the people at the Lego store we're all friends with. And, and so they, um, it's it's cool. Like it's just a nice social gathering being able to like all get together like that. It's really nice. It's really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Like whenever we go to a Bricks and Minifigs, we're there for like at least two hours. Yeah. Like, it's, it's and most of it's just like talking to Ben. He's like the, the a uh, manager yeah. there. Assistant, assistant to the manager. Assistant to <laughs> <laughs> And he's just like telling us about Star Wars. Yeah. Like even when we're not asking him about, he'll just come up and be like, "Did you know?" <laughs> like, go away, Ben. <laughs> it's kind of fun. It's really fun. Aw, thanks, Warren. Love the January Lego vlog. Happy New Year! Can you wave? Hi, hey, Warren. <laughs> yeah, no, the vlog was so much fun, and like, I don't know, it's like one of my favorite times because like I get to see all my friends. It's like a literal social gathering. Like it's it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. I love it. Big fan, big fan. Wee. Oh, let's see. I had a good quiet Chris's. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, nice. And what are we building? So I'm building this one here, this giant new friend set. And I really like it. It's pretty cool. I hope they keep like making big sets like that. I'm building the TIE Bomber. And I actually, if anyone's new, probably about 30 minutes ago, I finished the clone specialist pack. Did you like the clone specialist pack? I do, I like them a lot. They, they look really nice. Um, I probably won't get as many of these. Uh, I think a lot of us feel the same way as the uh, the first five or first battle pack because those were more like you know general. Um, these are specialists, but they look good. They, you know, at a first glance you wouldn't even notice that they're not just normal clone troopers. So I I'm gonna probably get at the most by the time it retires I'll probably get ten. Um, but um, I got one at the Lego store yesterday and then I ordered two online uh, at midnight. And I'll probably hold off until they go on sale after that. Yeah. I like that they're only $20. Like, I, I hope they keep that up. <laughs> that's like, that's how they tricked us. Easy. They used to be $15. Well, they used to be $10. But then they released one that was $30. So then they can put them back at $20 and be like, look, we brought them back down to $20. Come on to you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Um, let's see. What was your first Lego set? My first Lego set was the Women of NASA from Lego Ideas. It's oh, yeah. like for women scientists from NASA. And I used to do data science. Like, that's what my master's is in. And now I build Legos. But, um, yeah, I loved it. I had it on my desk. And the CEO at my job would come by and he was like, what's that? And I was like, it's a Lego. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't think he thought it was cool, but that's fine. He thought it was cool. I think it's cool. <laughs> Thanks. Oh gosh. I think I have I have the globe in my office and it looks really nice there. It's a really nice like one to put in the office. That and the botanicals. Like when we're talking about 18 plus set and icon sets, like those are the best, man. Botan like even to this day, we don't know what to get someone for their birthday or Christmas. Botanical. And I feel so bad sometimes about it because I'm like, do they know that this is? It's, I, I feel like it's like not really a cop out gift though, because like, it's really cool, you know. And I'm like excited to give it to people and like, you know, it's not just like, oh, I don't know what to get them. Here you go. It's like, I think they would like this because it's cool and it's like it's fun to share my hobby with other people. Mm -hmm. but it's something. A lot of people say like it's cool, but if you're not into Lego, you're probably not gonna spend money on it. Mm -hmm. So it is nice to kind of give those things out. Yeah, yeah, that's like my my go-to gift for everybody. And like <laughs> every like Christmas or birthday, they end up with like another like flower set <laughs> yeah. or like another Disney set. And I like that there's like micro Disney. Those castle ones, the and Disney Haunted Castle and Haunted Mansion are huge. Now They're I have game my changers. Gift for yeah, every year. that's the market. I think that's where. That's where the 18 plus needs to kind of focus a lot more on is those yeah. cheap, anything like 50 or less because they're perfect gifts. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's that's the ideal spot for a lot of those kinds of sets. Yeah, no, I agree. We're yeah. all talking, we're all talking like, here's what Lego needs to do. <laughs> Let me like, I'm like, turn the chair around backwards. I'm like, <laughs> hey kids, this is what you need to do. Like, we're not qualified for any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. Chat, let me know. Okay, so I'm sure there's Disney fans here, probably. I don't know. Maybe. What Disney ride do you want to see next from the little micro Ooh. thing? Let me know. Let me know in chat. I think I want, uh, is it Big Thunder Mountain? Is that what it's called? Or Red Thunder Mountain? Which, what's it called? Red Thunder Mountain? No. Is it Red Thunder? Big Thunder? Yeah, I think it's Big, Big Thunder. 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 Big Thunder. Big Thunder, Thunder Mountain. Yeah. yeah, that one. Um, I like that one a lot. That's when I really put on my little pioneer voice every time we go on that it's ride. It's so dumb. <laughs> sure, there's gold out in them hills. You know, um, we're gonna go down to the haberdashery and pick us up some ice cream. I, I don't know what a haberdashery is, but I really like doing the pioneer voice. So I like going on that ride because the whole time we're in line, I'm like, Shush, look at it. There's a goat up there. <laughs> I've really refined my pioneer voice. Ross is just, ha he's having a great time, y'all. He's, he's just living, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Every time at Disney, he's just like bouncing around. He's like so oh, yeah. happy. <laughs> By the morning, I'm I'm all excited. By the night, I'm just like uh, <laughs> I have too much sugar. I'm ready to go to bed. Yeah. Take a lot a of ibuprofen. Day. Tons of ibuprofen. Yeah. No, that's fair. Teacups. Oh, that'd be cute. Teacups oh. would be cute. I never even thought about that. Because they have the little. You, if they that'd made it cute. miniature, they have they those could almost put like, like a little figures. motor thing on the side. Lego. Oh. Take note, Teacups. okay. Check this out. Teacup ride. Little like you know the, the little gear thing, so you could like spin them around. Mm -hmm. With That's the, cute. The little splat That'd be cute. gears. <laughs> I love that. That's smart. That's smart. Like Lego right now is like that SpongeBob meme. They're write like, write that down. Write that, that down. Write that down. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good idea. That was a good idea. Oh man, have you been to Norway? I have been to Norway. I was there in 2019, and I loved it. Actually, it we just pretty. had. Um, some of, one of my friends from high school, uh, they're visiting us, and they're from Norway, or they live in Norway right now, and they're telling us a lot about it. Sounds super fun. I Sounds go. super cold. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Man, it's very pretty though. I want to go to Norway. Man. Frozen. Wow. So back one actually took me quite a bit. Um, this is the the chassis, I guess you would call it, of the Type Bomber. Um, so what's interesting is, not a lot of people know this, but the Type Bomber, you know, this is the side where the cockpit goes and the pilot's in, and then this is the side where all the ordnance is, so the missiles and the bombs. But there's also, you can retrofit the Type Bomber to be a, a, a carrier, so like a, a troop transport, um, and it can hold about five people in it, so I'm wondering if it'd be easy to hollow this out so you can actually, like, transport troops through it, too. Um, but it's... That is an official Star Wars mod, but I don't think, looking at how small this one is, I don't think it'll work. <laughs> oh, Ross, do you have any Lego Star Wars hot takes? Hot takes? Yeah, and let us know yours in chat, too. Hot takes. Um, I mean, you know, Lego Star Wars hot takes. 
I'm, I know you have some. Yeah, I guess I'm just trying to think of what realm. Like, you know, I can really get nitpicky and be like, I, I really wish these had dual molded boots, or I want arm printing on on the figures. I think a lot of it always comes down to the figures in Lego Star Wars. Of just like we want more, more detail. Um, but you have to remember, you know, initially they're designing these for kids, so is it that important? I was like, eh. But yes. obviously, I want more detail in in the figures. Um, I also want to work more on the, um, I don't know, I kind of want the sets to be bigger again, but I don't want them to be more expensive. Like, I like the TIE Fighter that came in the Han Solo movie. Oh, yeah. Um, more than I like the more recent TIE Fighter, but I am happy to see that there's, like, affordable TIE Fighters. I feel like a TIE Fighter should be affordable. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I guess it's hard to say hot takes. Uh... Hmm. What about figures that Lego should, that you want Lego to make? Because you were all, you know, Phase 2 Commander Cody was yeah, like so a P2CC. big thing that happened. PTCC in 2022 was huge. Um, you what's, know, what's your next figure that you're like hung up on? I think the biggest one is still Nine Nub or Nian Nub. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's, it's at the point now where I'm like, I'm just kind of like nitpicking. I'm like, okay, who do we not have yet? So Nian Nub from... Uh, I guess what's weird is he was in episode six, seven, eight, and nine, and they still never made him in any of those like sequel sets either. Uh, they did make his cousin Ten Nub get it, nine Nub, Ten Nub. <laughs> um, so you can at least like make a version of him that looks right. But I think if they made him again, he's a Celestian, and he kind of looks. My cousin calls him Pancake Face because it looks like he has like his face is just a stack of pancakes <laughs> um oh i think you missed a chat this oh yeah, yeah yeah i didn't want to interrupt you oh gotcha so um, ron lego granddad is asking um if i've built the pizza planet truck yet so he sent me a pizza planet truck so to my sweet. po box and that was so so sweet i was like jumping up and down when i saw it <laughs> so i was like like i could feel it like you know in the box i was like feels like lego like what is this and I was just like, what? Because that's that was like my most wanted set. Mm -hmm. The Pizza Planet truck, y'all. Like, I love Toy Story. I was so excited. Um, I have not built it yet because I want to do a live stream on it. And like, you know, I, I was feeling, I was sick. The holidays, like, we just haven't really streamed too much. But I am planning to do like a dedicated stream on that set. And then um, it was really sweet. And also just like the very strange coincidence Um two pizza planet trucks showed up in my <laughs> p.o box at the same time um so now i have two i went from zero and wanting one so badly and now i have two which is incredible um and that one was from brian anderson so thank you so much brian um but yeah i want to do like a dedicated stream on it at some point soon um because i want one for display and then is it too big for the lego city i feel like it is it's yeah like, not it's like more a city it's set, similar right? scale to like the ecto-1 back there um maybe a little bit smaller oh, but okay. it's supposed to be like you know because they're toys oh, in the yeah. truck so it's kind of like they're in a bigger truck minifig scale but like to the toys yeah. scale <laughs> that's cute but yeah i do want to build it soon it's like it's sitting over there um i'm really excited appreciate it yeah thank you so really, much thank you so much <laughs> that was so um, sweet because I was actually thinking about snagging it for her, too. but <laughs> Right? Yeah, it was, like, on my list. I was like, I'm going to get it for myself for Christmas, and I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> like, you know, then I would have three. Um, but, yeah, let's see. Next biggest dream Lego set. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I think, like, what you said, the uh, oh, wow. the UCS Mystery Machine would yeah, obviously yeah. be a, a really good one. It'd be pretty groovy. Um, I think it would sell pretty well um, as long as they kept it like reasonably priced yeah um, I think it's gone to ideas uh, I don't know if that round already passed and if it made it through the round I don't or think not. it did I mean they don't have the rights like they can't oh, they right, literally right. can't make it Playmobil has it <laughs> they're gonna sue to oblivion um, Playmobil <laughs> even Playmobil has a CMS for Scooby Doo yep they're cute. Um, They're really cute. Yeah, they do look nice. Um, you can get a third one, Ross. <laughs> <Just another. laughs> I have a Christian. fleet of pizza trucks. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Um, Building my clone army. Pizza trucks. Uh, one big thing that happened was when um, Emily went to PRE. PRE? Paris. She happened to really luck out at the lego store oh yeah i remember I like she like shaking. called me i was it was like 2 a.m for me or something and she called and she's like there's, <laughs> there's light gray 
masonry bricks. And I was like, just get them all. <laughs> and so, yeah. They were just like on the wall there. And like, no one was freaking. I was just like walking in. And they'd been there for a while from what it looked like. And I was just like, is no one freaking out about this? Like, yeah. hello. Emily just like swooped crazy. them all. She came back from Paris with just a bunch. I had like six cups of them. Like... I was ecstatic. Oh, yeah. So Why don't we talk more about uh, some of the cool things Emily got to do this year? I, I got to tag yeah. along for some of it, but most of it's Emily. She is the star. I'm just kind of in the background. Or someone said it earlier. I'm eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, a lot of the things Emily got to do the... And she went to Hollywood Wing. and got to do the, uh, the Lego Star Wars tutorial series, which if you guys haven't checked it out, it's actually pretty they're cool. Pretty fun. Yeah. Um, they're, they're all up on YouTube now on Lego's YouTube page, but they're also on the Lego website. Um, so you can, the Lego Star Wars website. So you can go Lego check Star them out Wars. there. But com. Emily hosted the whole thing and you know, they'd like tell you cool different <laughs> things, cute. tutorials for, you know, how to make stop motions, how to take photography of your Lego Star Wars sets, how to, you know, do all these kind of fun stuff with it. And uh, so that was a really cool opportunity that Emily had. Yay. And I'm so proud of her for being able to do that. And so she got to go to L.A. for two-ish weeks. Um, and I got to visit one of the weekends. And that's when we went to Disneyland together. But yeah. So that was a blast. That was amazing. Yeah. Um, then we did, what else did we uh, Oh, and then she got Brick to go. Brick World. Uh, oh, yeah. Brick World was awesome. Um, but then Emily got to go to, to Paris for the... That was uh, wild. That was insane. So, unfortunately, I couldn't make it. It was a little bit like, short notice for me, and I have a lot of work. I had so much, um, like, what, imposter syndrome? I was like, yeah. everyone here is too fancy. Like, <laughs> Yeah. It was quite literally em Emily in Paris, except <laughs> she wasn't dressed as nice as Emily in Paris was. Cause to be fair to fashion in the new season is kind of bad. But, anyway, anyways. Um, but, yeah, Paris was crazy. Um, I mean, it was just, like, it was cool. I don't, like... I don't know. It was just like an, an insane experience and like definitely the coolest thing I've ever done so mm -hmm. far. Like that was wild. Too fancy. It was too fancy. I was like, oh gosh, like why weren't, like everyone there was fancy and like I was having lunch one day and it was, everyone there was like, I was sitting between like a fashion designer who, okay, this is kind of interesting. He was a fashion designer in Paris, but all of his inspiration for his new line of clothes came from Bionicle. <laughs> And I was like, wait, what? Like, and he showed me his Instagram and he's like, oh yeah, these are all my Bionicles. And he had like Whoa. a room. He had like every Bionicle. It was like. All the Bionicles. It was like clutter. It was just like, you have to like zoom in to actually see anything because it was just like clutter. But it was incredible. And he, like it was elemental and like fire and, you mm -hmm. know, earth and stuff was like his inspiration from Bionicle for the clothes. And then on the, um, on my other side was like a British rapper. And I was just like. British rapper. Yeah, I was like, I'd never heard of this dude, but then he was like the, the the poster child or something for like Top Hits 2022 on Spotify, and I was like, wait, that's the guy. Oh yeah, I met. he was on the. Like, <laughs> he was the just thumbnail like chilling. And I was like, I'm not. I just. They were like, so what do you do? And I was like, I build Lego. I make Lego on the internet. You're like, oh, so you're like actually like a Lego person? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as cool as you guys. What was gosh. also cool is she got to meet um, a few of the designers, but one, probably the most uh, recognizable one was she met Tiago. Tiago! And uh, from what I can tell, he seems like a very sweet guy. He was so sweet. Um, oh, my gosh. And, uh, but it's funny, so they played each other in the foosball thing, and if you go look at that vlog that she made, <laughs> she's playing against Tiago, and it, it's funny, apparently Tiago is really competitive. Yeah. And he was like, oh, yeah, I got you, I beat you. <laughs> so, he was like, yeah, like yelling at the camera. <laughs> and I like messaged him later. I was like, you know, because if, if someone's in my video, I'm like, hey, is it okay? Like, I know you have your own YouTube channel with like 500K people, but like, are you okay with being on the internet? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, also, I feel bad. I was a little too competitive. Like, <laughs> it take was it fun. out if it, if it was too much. I'm so sorry. I was like, oh, it was it's funny. Better. It made for clickbait, like, yeah. or not clickbait, but like, it made it. It was funny. It was like, oh, Emily got creamed by this uh, Lego designer at, at foosball. It was fun. I was, was really, cool. I had some FOMO about it for sure. But it was, it was like a really quick. Like, she left Thursday and came back Sunday, so it yeah. wasn't a long trip. I didn't like, even that's have a lot to time to, to be jet lagged. Yeah. Like, my God. <laughs> the bread was fantastic. Loved, loved the food. Loved the bread. I was like upset. I was mad. I was sitting in some like cafe there, and I was just angry because I was like. This is just some random cafe in Paris. Like, why is it so good? Like, <laughs> how dare they have amazing food here? And like, that would be like a five-star restaurant here almost. Like, it's that that was very upsetting. I was just like, what have I been eating my whole life? This if is this food. is food, like, <laughs> I was mad. 
Oh, Snow Lena's here. What's going on, Snow Lena? Oh, welcome, welcome. We're just building our Legos. Okay. Man, did you meet Thierry Henry? I. Okay, so not not exactly, but he was like right there. Like I was <laughs> sitting in on the panel. Like I was just like chilling there. Um, and there were like very very like fancy people from Lego there too, and I was just like chilling with them, and I was like. We're just like sitting here. This is like, this is weird. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, he was like just right there giving an inter interview. And to be fair, it was all in French. So I have no idea what it was about. Um, was but Mbappe later on, there? Mbappe was not there. <laughs> no. But yeah, no, it was it was a very interesting thing. It was like, I kind of hope they do like more events like that. Just like, because yeah. it was open to the public. And so that was like really cool to see that. And people were just like excited about Lego and soccer and sorry, football. It was cool. It was really cool. If only Lego owned Netflix, if only ne <laughs> there would be anything about Lego. Oh man. I mean, I'm like, I don't know. Like, it, it's interesting, like how much Lego has made it into the mainstream. Like, there was this in, this article about like designer Lego stuff. Like, not like Lego designers, but like designer like Gucci or whatever. But, like, oh, Lego. right. Didn't Gucci do something with Lego? No, that was, so Louis Vuitton Louis is, Vuitton. you know, fancy designer brand. Um, their storefronts were all like Lego, mm -hmm. which is weird. I was like, what's that happening? That was pretty cool. Yeah, it looked cool. It's so crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like, it was an article showing how like Lego can be incorporated into like home design, interior design. And I was like, finally, you know, but I was like, that's so cool though. That's, that's really neat. I was excited about it. Crazy, man. Lego, Lego's really held in there. They're pretty scrappy, I, I think, as a company. And so, you know, out of the three or four times they've almost gone bankrupt, they've <laughs> held through. They're just doing their yeah. best. They have to adapt. I mean, the world changes so much. Like, have you ever seen like the Brickumentary or whatever? They like talk about how like Lego or the Toys That Made Us was a really good one where, oh, yeah. uh, on Netflix. Where they, that like, one wasn't made by Lego. No, the was, other one yeah, was. Yeah, that one was made by Netflix, and yeah. they they did like a really good job of like showing like how hard it was for Lego to adjust and like you know how they almost went bankrupt and then they got the license to Star Wars and Harry Potter and it kind of like propelled them up, but then. You know, the year there wasn't a movie, they made too many sets and nobody bought them because there was no Harry Potter Star Wars movies. And then they did like, ooh, and then that's when Bionicle came in and saved the day. And they learned more that they had to make their own kind of IP. So that's kind of what eventually spawned a lot of the new waves of sets like uh, Ninjago and stuff like that. Like that's all friends. their own. Yeah, friends, right? They had to make their own lore and adventure to keep people interested in it. Um, my favorite too is the Mindstorm stuff is when Mindstorms came out. Uh, originally they were really, Lego was super upset because like all the adults were like having fun with it and they would just like hack into the brains of the Mindstorm things and make it do all sorts of things. And you know, they had debated like, oh, we're going to start suing people for like messing with our IP. And they were like, wait, 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 I think. I think this is good. I think we should encourage it. And like the lawyers were like, wait, I think we should, we should let them do it. And then, so, then Mindstorms evolved into what it is today. Although, I don't think it's called Mindstorms anymore, but, um... Oh, wait, didn't they rebrand? I think they did. But and that's, like, how you got your job. Yeah, I mean, know? I learned to code through Mindstorms as a kid. I was in the robotics team. So, Lego taught him to code. Yep. Ross now has a job coding. Yep. And he can afford to buy Lego. It was their whole ploy. Like, huh. Yeah. Yeah, so one day I'll meet the... <laughs> one, day. <laughs> one day I'll meet the guys who made Mindstorm and be like, Oh, thanks for the job. <laughs> No, I, I think I actually in. like told one of the Lego um, people that in Paris. I was oh like, really? Yeah, because I, I was like, yeah, like it's really interesting, like seeing you know how kids are interacting with Lego up through adulthood, and like told him about you and how you you know started coding mm -hmm. with Lego, and then you know you ended up here, and now I get to do this too. And she <laughs> thought it was really neat. She was like, wait, what? That's so cool. Yeah, and all goes full circle, huh? Yeah. The circle of life. That's right, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> We just watched Lion King 2, you guys. That There was emotion in that. Yeah, she had never seen Lion King 2. And Lion King 2 is just one of those movies that's like instilled in my head. There's that song Deception. about... Um, yeah, when, when uh, Scar 2.0 gets um, exiled <laughs> from the Pride Lands. And I don't know, that song's always in my head. But I finally got Emily to watch it this last week. And she really liked it. Um... 
And I did too. This is cool. So, on the second story, pew, you pew, see pew. that black and white couch? Check it out. Black and white couch on the side. Ooh. So, if you're not familiar with this set, <laughs> um, what's really cool about it is it's it's the apartment that it comes with is empty. And then this is the furniture store, and there's three different types of furniture in it. There's like a modern, and then a rustic, and then a more like groovy looking kind of thing. It's so cool. what you can do is you can go to the furniture store and buy the, you know, buy the furniture, whatever. Pick out the furniture you want and furnish the apartment in whatever way you want. So it's like in, like, it's meta, it's modular inside the apartment. And I think that's that's what's so cool about it, right, is that you're able to bring those like you know like the different couches and the different beds and like bring them from the furniture store and furnish the apartment any way you want to and i think that was really creative on the friends team yeah no, they're just they're having so much fun i, know, I feel the like friends people like, and they're just nailing they're just it doing <laughs> man i wonder if their back hurts from carrying lego all the time <laughs> 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 There's like a friends designer watching this right now. Just like their head is just so big they can't get it through the door. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, by the way, y'all, we do have like a or three. I'm used to saying a hundred because I don't think we've had 300 people on stream before. So this is wild. Uh, we have 300 and I think 30 people right now. Please, if you're new here, do consider subscribing. We do a lot of Lego City stuff, live streams, uh, vlogs are a huge thing. Ross is funny sometimes when he feels like it, so <laughs> make if sure I, to hang out I'm for well a while. Fed. Yeah, he needs to be fed. If if Ross is not fed, oh boy. You got a sleepy Ross. Oh boy, no, we <laughs> we have a grumpy Ross. Yeah, and a grumpy Ross. He's just like. Rrr. When do you get grumpy? Yeah, that's why whenever we go to Costco, we make sure Ross gets a hot dog. A dollar fifty. They're a dollar fifty. Like that's crazy, right? So cool. Oh man. Oh, Johnny. What's going on, Johnny? Welcome, welcome. Never for 14 months. Thanks for oh, being cool. here, Johnny. Oh, I love it. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Pivot. 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 Yeah, that's funny because the, <laughs> the furniture store. Pivot. Oh, so man. I have a new piece that I want to show. There's a new piece? Uh, yeah, it was actually in the, the jazz modular. Actually, the correct term is element. Um, so if you see those two pieces in the middle, it's uh, there, there's two of them here. So it's a it's a jumper. I guess it's a one by two jumper, but it's curved, um, kind of like a pizza wedge kind of thing. So it's it's interesting. I think we're gonna see a lot of use out of this piece because I really like it. And I want to see it. Oh. That one there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it came in the jazz modular. So I didn't realize it was in this set too. Um, so I guess it's a cheaper way to get it. Me. But. I'm pretty excited to see what they end up doing with this one. Oh, thanks for the Twitch follow. I have oh, not streamed sure. on Twitch in like eight oh, months. Yeah. So. <laughs> but uh, thank you. <laughs> we tried. Oh, we really tried. We really tried, man. Oh, gosh. It goes back to our whole New Year's word resolution thing of time. being better about time management. I've been, I'm so bad at time management. Like, it's I tough. just hop on TikTok for like eight hours and I'm just like, how did today go? What, yeah, so what fast? happened? Where am I? <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> Future. 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 <laughs> and this is a fun build. It is very gray, though. That was a, for all you SpongeBob people out there. I'm sure there's at least one. What does TIE and TIE Fighter and TIE Bomber stand for? The intermediate. Um, um, Apple. Okay. <laughs> That's not right at all. Um, that wasn't even the right letters, but oh. <laughs> I'll give you an A for effort. I don't know why I was like... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fair enough. Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Emily. <laughs> the intermediate Emily. There you go. Uh, no. Uh, not at all. Um, it is, is... <laughs> Twin ion <laughs> engines. That doesn't sound um, right. But I, I like where your head's at. Uh, keep it up, kid. I'm doing my um, best. That's all we ever I'm asked. Crying. <laughs> uh, wait, is this a dinosaur egg? Wow. Oh, I just heard thunder. Da -da thunder. Lightning and the thunder. thunder. I don't like uh... dinosaur egg. Oh. There's dinosaurs hatching in this building. Life oh finds a way. Uh, <laughs> You're laughing at yourself. Uh, like, that was really dumb. What's our favorite Lego theme? That. I mean, 
for me, it's definitely going to be Star Wars. I just, no matter what. Um, but there's a lot of good themes out there, too. It's um, hard. I mean, Gunk Lego Droid Ideas. Is oh, yeah, Gonk Droid comes with this set, huh? Lego Ideas is good because, like, you get such a variety of stuff. I feel like that's a cop out answer, though. Well, what's your favorite theme? All, all of the it. <laughs> everything. <laughs> 18 plus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's everything. My favorite theme. I mean, my favorite theme doesn't exist because I would love more like Disney, like big girl sets, not the four plus. Well, they did the. And they don't really exist. Elsa's castle. Uh, with minifigs. I think Elsa's. I'm, I'm waiting for my. Nobody's like. Favorite when did that one? Exist. Was that 2021 or 2022? But no one talks about that set anymore, and I still think it's a great set. It's good. No, I mean, it was just like unfortunate that it came out when no one cared about Frozen. Yeah, it didn't come out with the, one of the movies. I'm sure if it came out with one of the movies, it would have. Oh, it would have gone. Yeah. Been Can you gone. imagine, like, if it came out like this, you know, fall or something, and then the set came out before Christmas, and then it would be gone? Mm -hmm. Crazy. Bonkers. Crazy. Almost like Bluey. I'm still looking for a Bluey plush. I can't find one. I just love Bluey. Oh, guys. Um. Oh, God. oh Snowlina! 20 months! Oh, thank you so much, wow. Snowlina. That's amazing. Oh, actually, Christian, Christian does know my favorite theme. My favorite theme is Lego Technic. <laughs> um, I love the pins. Yeah, stop hating on Lego Technic. They're really easy to put together. Lego so. Technic's cool. I like I like the smaller Lego Technic sets. I was talking to our friend Josh, and he really he was telling me his kids really like the uh, um, what's it called the like the monster truck ones, um, and they, I think they look really cool. Uh, like they're they're like the pullback and race kind of things. Um, I don't know. I'd be interested in playing with one of those. I would try it if you built it. <laughs> I like Technic too because they're, it's durable enough that you can actually really play with it if you wanted to. And, uh, you know, you can go play with it out in the backyard and stuff like that. And that is cool. Even the remote control ones you can play with. Um, so that is, I think, one other thing we don't think about when we think of Technic. That I think Technic has over normal Lego. Is that it's it's pretty durable, right? It's That's what it's that's made for. That's the point, yeah. Man. Oh, I saw them asking your least favorite theme. I mean, it's hard because, like, there's so many themes that I'm just, like, not going to buy. You know? Like, I mean, I don't really care for Ninjago. I think the sets are really cool, but, like... There's so many cool elements in it. Yeah, but, like, it's not my favorite. Like, I, I just don't buy it. You know, there's no no themes where I'm like, I hate this exists. Yeah. Like, I don't stay up at night hating <laughs> Writing something. Writing, like, letters to the Lego <laughs> designers, like, stop making these now. <laughs> No more Duplo. I'm going, I'm going on a oh. hunger strike. Like, no, it's just like, yeah. if I don't like it, I just don't care. <laughs> like, that's it. There's, I guess I can maybe say they're like themes that I'm like, man, I wish we didn't do those themes so we could have done something else. On, for me, my hot take is probably Brickheads, um, and which is, I know, controversial because mm. or uh, hypocritical because we did buy the, the Lord of the Rings ones. But... I wouldn't even say that. I think I've heard people say, cool. I've heard people say they don't like brick heads most, and I, I kind of get this one mostly because it like takes a slot. So right, so like, you know, they just had the Tuscan Raider brick head just came out, and you know maybe they Lego was planning on making four sets, and one of them got taken up by a brick head. So I've heard that argument before. Um, so maybe that's kind of it. But other than that, I don't really hate any one theme. Um. I also don't like saying I dislike anything because, you know, there's been times where I've heard people, Emily's talked about this too, where you hear people like talk about like, oh, this is utter trash, you know, <laughs> and you're just like, oh, I liked that set. I don't know. Nobody wants, sad. yeah, nobody wants to hear someone. Well, maybe people do want to hear it, but. Oh, I don't. Yeah. You know, we don't like hearing people just like, oh God, the TIE Bomber's complete garbage. If you buy the TIE Bomber, you have no taste, you know, like who wants to hear that? Also, check out this type bomber. It's really cool, but it's also garbage. And you binocular. Have no taste. Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Because it's binoculars. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Why does that like actually work? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Man. I have a totally for kids free collection. <laughs> Thank you. We have like quite. 
a, a handful of brick heads. I think like our bricks and minifigs had a bunch of them yeah. at one point. And we bought like 20 in a day. We Mostly like, the brick heads we oh. normally get are the Disney ones. Disney, So that's yes. like the new ones that just got a... I don't know if they got revealed or leaked. I don't know what happened there, but and I don't even know. the Oswald <laughs> ones or whatever, like we'll get those. Any any classic Disney we'll definitely get. I think the only Disney brickhead we don't have is Salad Bar. What? Um, Salazar. Oh my! I was like, what are you saying? Yeah, we don't have Salazar from Pirates of the Caribbean, but we do have Jack Sparrow. So that's that's it. Like I didn't know who Salazar was. I've never seen and that so movie. And so I was like, yeah. I don't know who this is. And like Ross is Pirates like, of the Caribbean Disney. Seven. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, was like, I don't. I don't need this. I'm good. First three okay. were all I needed. I heard the fifth one was decent though, but I, I remember not liking the fourth one a lot. Oh wow. Oh, let's see. Um, people are talking about your binoculars. Oh yeah. Love it. Thoughts on misprints? I think they're cool. Like I wish that I found them sometimes because I never do. But then I see everyone's like, oh, I found my, I got misprints, and I'm like. Where'd you buy that? Like, I want, I want Anytime that. I've ever got a misprint, it's, like, not even been cool. Like, it's just been, like, oh, they just forgot, like, the mouth is just messed up. And I'm like, ugh. So, yeah, I mean, which is fine, because you just tell Lego, and Lego will get you a new one. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I really wanted, like, one of those crazy uh, Clone War, or the 501st Battle Pack misprints. I remember when the 501st Battle Pack was coming out. Um, everybody was like, oh, I got a misprint, you know, the best is when you get the print on the wrong side of the helmet, right? That's, that's cool. That's when yeah. it's cool. And, or like, even if it's just like on the side of the helmet, like it's, it, it's cool, right? Cause it's unique. But I remember people were selling the 501st mm -hmm. Battle Pack on like eBay for like $200 <laughs> oh, yeah. and they were in the description, they'd be like chance of a misprint. And you're like, well, yeah, I mean, any set <laughs> has a chance of a misprint guy. That's so unfortunate. Um, and scalpers. Yeah. Um, I can't believe that happened. That's just crazy yeah, to me. Yeah, he was just like, trying to take advantage of it. There could be a misprint in it. And I was like, well, maybe, but probably not. Oh, what's going on, Liz? Welcome, welcome. She's like, hey, hey. Drops hey, hey, everything hey. she's doing to go build. <laughs> <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. Hi, uh, Liz. This is nice. This has actually been the first time in a while. I mean, we've been working in the city a lot, but this is the first time in a while Emily and I have gotten time to just sit and build together, too. So. Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm I am enjoying could, this. Glad y'all can can hang out for the ride. Me. Let's see. So I'm on bag three of four for this set. Um, so far for this set, it's it's a fun one. I hope you guys got this one. Let us know if you were able to get your hands on this one. Um, or let us know what you did get on January 1st. Oh, or yeah, what yeah. you're planning on getting. Or what you ordered and it's in the mail. Or, I don't know. Just tell me what you're... How, how's life? I got yeah. a rock. <laughs> 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 what? You don't know that one? It's from uh, Charlie Brown. Where, oh, like yeah, they're, yeah. they're all trick-or-treating. They all get, oh, I got a candy bar. Oh, I got gumdrops. Oh, I got a rock. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Yeah. Poor Charlie Brown. Oh. Um, so, yeah, building the gonk droid right now. Gonk. Gonk. <laughs> Trying to get um, Emily back into Clone Wars. We kind of took a break because we were watching other shows like Wednesday and Bluey. Bluey. And etc and then we watched andor which by the way if you're not if you haven't seen andor yet i don't know what you're doing um <laughs> there's nothing else more important than andor uh <laughs> maybe uh spend time with your family i guess but um andor was amazing everybody i talked to loves it um but trying to get back into clone wars and it's it's kind of hard you know there's so much going on and emily tells me i think she struggles with it a lot because like you don't know what's going on a lot of the time. Yeah, I'm like half the time and, I'm like, Ross, what? Is, where are they? And, what's happening? And I have to, I'm I had to like tell her. I was like, Emily, this is the seventh or eighth time I've watched Clone Wars, and I'm still figuring out what's going on in every episode. <laughs> Makes me feel you a know? little bit better. Yeah, about it. I'm like, it, it's a lot. Clone Wars is dense, um, you know, and I think that's why ultimately Rebels, I like, I think is the best one. I and, like Rebels, which is, you know, I I saw Rebels when it came out, and I hadn't. What rewatched it since until uh, Emily and I watched it together. And when I was watching, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best. Like, it's honestly peak Star Wars as Rebels. And it's just sad that a lot of people dismiss it because, you know, it's made for kids or marketed to kids, but perfect show. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Um, so I am excited for the Ahsoka. 
Yes, um, I cannot wait for Ahsoka. Like that's the first time yeah. where I've like. But you gotta watch fully out. There's it. like been a lot of like script leaks or something's going on. I like try to stay away from it as much as I can, but just watch out on the internet. Like anytime I even see a picture of Ahsoka, I just scroll. I'm like, I'm not. I don't want to read it. I don't want to hear anything about it. Um. Oh, no cool. ah, Lady Bird. Oh, she's fun. She wants to say hi no, to the world. She's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little side thing. That's cool, right? Oh, like the stickers on the it's side? Like oh, yeah. Work. So it kind of shows you the three different styles you can get. Ooh. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's like very bright. Is it too bright? No, oh, let us know. Got a new light for Christmas. I got so. one of those like fancy like photography studio lights, and I feel like legit, you know? Like I don't have like a ring ding little ring light anymore. I have like actual lighting. And I have no idea how to use. I got like whenever I get new equipment, I'm just like, what does this do? And then I just go back to my iPhone and <laughs> film on there because I'm like, anxious <laughs> about it. Yeah, it does get scary. The worst thing ever is trying to film a video with new equipment and then it like turns out garbage because you had no idea what you were doing. Mm. You're like, ah. Yeah, we're and. still like our microphone system. We're still like a little bit gun shy on using because we've had some bad experiences with it. Yeah. And we, it, we have like the lapel mic and everything. We learned we can't really, it can't go in your lapel because it gets really gainy. So you almost have to hold like the mic out like this far out to talk, which I'm like, it's not really a lapel mic then, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's very weird. Yeah. We're like trying to, we're doing our best. <laughs> we're just trying. Yeah, that's like what's fun about like, I don't know, like what we, well, you started the channel like 14 years ago, but then it took like a 10 year break. And now I get the channel. And like, when I started out, I was just like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I'm oh, just, yeah. I'm bored, and I was like laid off from my job, and I was trying to find other jobs. And, you know, in the meantime, bef between jobs, I guess, I was like, I'll, I don't know, talk about Lego online. That sounds like the right thing to do. I don't know. And here we are. Yeah. No, it's, I feel bad for everyone that watched videos back then, though, because they were bad. <laughs> but <laughs> we're trying to get better. We're just having fun with it, so I'm glad you guys are, you know, are here and dealing with our nonsense, so that's pretty cool. Oh, gosh. Ooh, Nexo Nights. I I never had Nexo Nights. I don't know. Nexo Nights were cool. They they didn't last long, um, but we saw them at Bricks and Minifix, and they're there pretty often. Eh, maybe not often, but I've seen them lately. Um, I think they're super cool. They're, like futuristic robots mixed with castles i guess it's kind of one of lego's last castle themes um but it's totally different and it was really cartoony and animated i thought it was a really fun theme kind of reminded me of uh exo force was a good one too i have i think two more bags on this what bag are you on three of four yay okay so we'll probably finish around the same time Jeez. Ah, you're doing great so loud Oh, Brickified! Welcome, welcome! We do not live in the UK. We live in Texas. 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 Aw, thanks so much, Brickified. Um, Discord link is in the members tab somewhere. Um, if you have trouble finding it, just like let us know and we'll we'll figure it out. But it's so great to see you here, Brickified. And Reben, welcome, welcome, and thank you so much for the two dollars. Did you get any of the Lego Heroica sets? No, I never did. Was I'm that the Legoland thing? I think it was the Legoland one theme, right? Yeah, I, I think so. Was I don't know. I guess the answer is no. Yeah. <laughs> since I don't really know what it is. Um, I remember it being announced, and then that was kind of it. Yeah. No, we never did those. Um, I mean, I really like the exclusives. I just think it's like really exciting to like travel somewhere and get something you can only get there. Mm -hmm. um, but then the last time we did that was with Legoland official sets, and we were in Florida. But then like, oh yeah, they, they were available everywhere because it was like right before COVID. Mm -hmm. So now we're we're not special anymore. Yeah, but the Legoland amusement park one isn't as cool as we thought it'd be. Yeah. Um, the oh my gosh. what else was there? Oh, the Rise of the Resistance ride was go. supposed to be. Um, an exclusive <laughs> to Disney Thanks. Parks. Like, you could only get it at Galaxy's Edge. Um, and then they let it out at Target because of the pandemic. Um, but it's interesting because I don't think we've ever seen anything like that. Like, a Lego exclusive only at Disney World or something it would have been super cool. Um, but I'm glad we could all get it. Okay, yeah. so, 
Are you ready? I have another, not a hot take, but an interesting <clears throat> Star Wars fact. Ooh, okay, um, okay. Let me get this. So, one thing I'm already, I don't like about this bomber is that the the cockpit, or rather the viewing port, is just for show, mostly. Like, it's, it's completely black and it's opaque and it, you know, the pilot can't actually see out of it. Um, you can kind of tell. But here's something interesting about TIE Fighters uh, for the film. So if you notice here that when you put it on the... Let me try to remember which way it goes. So if you're building it... Hold on. Gotta spin. Hold on, hold on. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Ross is doing his best. <laughs> so on the TIE Fighter, right, it kind of looks like a little spider web on the cockpit. Um, it's actually what you see on the outside of the TIE Fighter doesn't line up with on the inside of the TIE Fighter. So if you see that there, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight lines. So on the outside, the lines are up and down like that. But if you're, if they ever show a shot from inside, it's spun around just a little bit. So the lines are not up and down. So, and it's just like a joke that the model designers have always done. So it's really frustrating as like a, you know, a model builder or something. So the outside looks different than the cockpit does from the inside, like the glass port, the viewing port does. So there's your fun Star Wars fact of the day. Uh, but it looks like Lego, looking at it, they, they well, you, both ways are the right way, right? But they did it the way I would do it, which is from the outside, you know that the line goes up and down. Um, but from the inside, it's tilted just a little bit. There you go. Sorry, that was kind of a weird rant. <laughs> no, we're all learning so much today. Well, I do stop motion again. Probably not. Um, takes so much time. Yeah, I've always wanted to get back into it, and I taught Emily how to do it, and we were just like, wow, this takes a lot of time. We spent like two hours, and we got like an eight second. seconds, yeah. It was like so short. <laughs> it was, it's like really fun, and it's exciting, and like I definitely admire the craft, but I can't do it. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to, I really did, but I don't really have a space for it. And then, you know, it's a lot of time. And I, unfortunately, just uh, want to play video games in my <laughs> free time. And so, yep. try to relax a bit. Hashtag Ross Rants. Ross Rants, there you go. Do you have any other rants for the world? Uh, I'm sure I can, I can your, get it started on this something. This is your time to get it out. <laughs> pulls out a list. <laughs> Aww. Ooh, back from the Lego store. What did I miss? Salix Bricks. Hello, hello. Um, what have you missed? Not, I don't know. We're just building. <laughs> built the 501st Battle Pack, and now I'm building the TIE Bomber, and Emily's building a furniture store. It's classic, <laughs> right? Brother and sister kind of like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's funny because like we've like Ross's sister, we've been like hanging out with her a lot more lately. Like she's like she lives in town, um, and it's just so funny because she like just hearing about how she interacts with Lego versus like how Ross did. Which, and hers was like non-existent growing yeah, up. She, she was did. just like I didn't like Lego. Yeah, that was Ross's. Ross liked it, so I hated it kind of thing. <laughs> They're funny. Yeah, if you guys didn't see the vlog the other day. I don't, know which one. I don't know, like, it was his sister in it. Oh, the early, <laughs> Why is trying to find early his sets. His sister's funnier than, funnier than all of us. Like, it's not fair. <laughs> like, yeah, she's pretty funny. She's so funny. Oh, let's see. Bought the new Technic Monster Jam today. Awesome, awesome. Man, yeah, there's, like, a lot of, like, just stuff that comes out every January 1st. Like, it's, it's insane. It's hard to keep up with it. Like, it's, um... I don't know, I've been asked by people, like, oh, like, what all's coming out? Like, what are you most excited for? I'm like, I know what I want, because, like, I know what I'm getting, but they're, you know, it's... I can never keep up with all the different release dates and, like, what's coming out in February versus January 1st or, like, mid-month stuff. It's mm -hmm. it's a lot. There's a lot of stuff. Meow. Meow, meow. Tide bombers. Oh, wait, do I need to build two of these? How's your build going? Oh, whew. Guys, I almost messed up here. I know. I almost started building a, a whole one of the wings and not realize that there was a times two at the top. That's the worst feeling <laughs> is when you finish a build 
and then it was like times two, and you're like, ah, oh, no, I have to go all the way back. Because I like to build them in tandem. Yeah. That way they're both done. Oh, gosh. Here we go. And, ah, oh, FM, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, I really appreciate so that. The little the <laughs> It's oh, so cute. Thank you. Oh, it's great to have you here. Okay, let's find a good appreciate spot it, for it. you on here. And thank you so much for your support. You really does help us out, so thank you. Let's see. F. And there we go. Aw, thank you. Here, let's see. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Here you are. You're on the earlobe. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, again, thank you so much for your support. It really does help us out. Um, Let's see. How did you and Ross meet? How did we meet? <laughs> met at a uh, conference <laughs> for programming. Really weird. Yep. Um, yep. We, we met out in the wild. Speaking of the wild. <laughs> Ladybird, you broke in. You broke in. I always put some boxes around. Oh, oh. oh. she hit her head. Oh, you okay? ah. <laughs> That's why I don't like Ladybird coming in here. She, <laughs> she, wants she does that. She jumps on Emily, and then she just tries to get to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your dog loves you. Yeah, I know. She gets she gets plenty of love. This is Ladybird. She likes to build Lego. She doesn't have thumbs though. I don't think she likes Lego at all. She's I like, it is it. way too cluttery. I was talking to my friend yesterday. Uh, they were coming to visit and they were looking at the city and all that. And I was like, yeah, it's really weird because you know, in my head, I really want to be like a complete minimalist. Like I want minimal things in my house, like almost nothing. But I picked the worst possible oh, yeah. hobby. I don't think there is a hobby that is any worse for minimalism. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, man. Aw, Lady, there's love for Ladybird. Tons <laughs> of Ladybird love. She just wants Ross. I know. Okay, okay. Changing up the dog. Oh, oh she's a big girl. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> That's why he's dog mom. <laughs> See, now she's happy. She was like all squirmy with me. She just wants Ross. She's a good girl. We named a whole city after her. It's her city, Lady Oh, yeah, Bird. Lady Berg. Lady Berg. All right, ready to get down now? No. Can I finish my set? <laughs> she wants to stay there. I think I, I heard some thunder earlier, and she's probably getting a little freaked out from that. So that uh, might be good. Well, we're, we're almost done, so we can all right, get down, buddy. We can pamper her after. Cool. Rarest Lego. Our rarest Lego? Ooh. I mean, Ooh. so right now I'm looking at one shelf is my, uh, pretty much my Empire Strikes Back shelf. So I have the small slave one, the 20th anniversary slave one, but then I also have the UCS slave one new in box. We have the Bespin Duel new in box and the um, Nebula the frigate new in box so those are probably of the rarest ones um emily and i were talking there's one set i think we've been thinking about trying to find i, I really want it but the problem is is we would probably have to open it <laughs> but i really want the uh the christmas x-wing man oh I yeah i really want that one if any well if you're a whatnot seller <laughs> and you have one and you're selling it hit me up i have like some credit on the app and i want to buy one very badly. Um, so that would be it, too. Uh, we have two of the employee gifts, which is the Ninjago one from last year and the Friends one from this year. And I'd say those are probably the rarest ones. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then... I got to hold a Mr. Gold, though, one time. Oh, yeah, you did. We were at <laughs> Just Do Good's place. <laughs> and... He let me hold it. Yeah, we got to. It was really cool. I was like, "Wow, I've never seen a Mr. Gold before." <laughs> I'm like, you just keep that in your in your bedroom. And he's like, "No, it's locked in key in a safe." And I was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. <laughs> no, that's smart. That's good. But yeah, no, it was cool. I was like, "Wow, first time I've ever held one or seen one." It was neat. IRL. Oh, let's see. Um, what other rare sets are there? I guess like. Then after that, maybe not rare because they were mass-produced, but like, you know, the ATOT Republic dropship is obviously 
oh, fan yeah. favorite. Um, there's dog hair all over these pieces now. I got, I'm wearing a black shirt. This is yeah. stupid. <laughs> oh, she's just sitting behind us. Okay, oh, cool. Lady cool. Bird. She's so good. This, uh, this tie bomber kind of reminds me of the old tie bomber, though. I remember how it, um, the wings were able to connect to the the chassis, and it's kind of a similar style. I wonder if that was on purpose, like a throwback. Like you could just like plug them in. Like you could, I could get the old tie bomber and swap the wings with this one the way it's built. So I could just put on the old tie bomber wings. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I like that it's binoculars. That's probably my <laughs> favorite part about the set. Yes, oh. binoculars are are cool. You could put like cool lenses in it and then have it actually be binoculars, maybe. Probably I don't actually not. know the science behind it, but in my head, that sounds like something that would work. A lot of gray pieces. Aw, people are building along with us. Hi, Josh. <laughs> yeah, no, I love like tuning into my friends' streams and just like building with people. Yeah, it's, it's a good way fun. to just kind of hang out there. Yeah. Man, so what else is new? I'm, like trying to think. I feel like so much has changed since the last stream. Yeah, I think uh, I'm curious. I don't know. Again, we don't keep up with leaks very well. No. <laughs> um, but I'm wondering what the new Star Wars, obviously I'm always wondering what the new Star Wars stuff's gonna be. Um, oh yeah, we got like, what, piece counts? I saw, I saw stuff yeah, on Instagram. Yeah, text leaks are my favorite leaks, because it just gets you like, hyped up, but yeah. you have no idea. Like, I don't want to see what it is until it gets re officially revealed, but I like the text leaks a lot. Well, this is so weird. So, in the build, you put the, um, bed literally just like, hanging on a wall. Oh yeah. That's so weird. <laughs> huh. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm gonna try. Oh god. Oh man. Dude, the bed's just like chilling on the wall. It's like up. Oh god, I'm gonna drop it. There? Isn't that weird? It's a really cute set though. Like, so far, I am really liking it. It's just fun. And like, the little like posters on the side there, those are all like different furnitures that they have inside the furniture store. So it's really cool. Little balcony. Yeah, I like this. This makes me happy. I like this set. <laughs> Are you in the left back? Um, pretty much. I have like bags full, but I think it's just like for. I'm not in the last part of this set. Yeah, there's still like some from the market square, I think. Oh, gotcha. Cool. I'm on bag four. Well, I'm gonna read bag. you. No, I'm so slow. Even like if I actually tried, it would still win. Thanks. I like my blue T-shirt too. No. <laughs> What's your favorite new set, Ross? And what are your thoughts on the Clone Command Station? That was like the little clone pack, right? Clone the Command. Oh, it's on sale pack. right now. I did buy a few more. I will see if they actually get shipped because I know they did that whole limit thing. Oh, yeah. But um, we I had some VIP points from trying to redeem for different sets. And so I just snagged a couple of those just for free shipping. Um, I like it. I mean, obviously, I wish the Commander wasn't there i wish it was just three normal phase two clone troopers um but it's kind of cool so like it looks weird but you know i think i have like five of them and when you start putting all the commanders together they kind of look cool as well but yeah I, I just wish there was more but hey it's it's on sale right now at lego shop at home and once it's gone it's gone uh blister packs don't normally last past a year so uh definitely get it if you haven't or get more if you want them or try uh, to get your hands yeah. on it It'd be kind of hard. Yeah, but you don't see them in the stores often. And then, as for this set, I really like it. Um, I like it more than the 501st Battle Pack, the first one. I guess that's what, I, don't, I forget what that one was even called, 501st Legion Troopers or something. Yeah. Um, that. But this one, this Battle Pack, I like it. I like the build in it. It's actually pretty cool. Um, it's not super part intensive. It's functional. It shoots things. And it, it, it actually looks like something you can put in a mock pretty nicely i don't like the 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 other one the atrt and the speeder bike are just way too large and um yeah i'm being a snob about so, it so someone else is asking um what lego set do you regret buying the most so i think i have my answer oh yeah yeah uh i think i know your answer <laughs> you probably do I would say mine is pretty much up there, or the, similar to yours. Uh, why don't you go ahead and go ahead and okay. pick another one? Let us know in chat as well. I want to see if like anyone has the same one as me. Um, but the Lego, 
like friends like sitcom <laughs> the apartment the lego friends apartments like it just takes up so much space it's like really big but like it's hard to display like if you had like a table in an office like a corporate office you know with like tons of empty space but you can't have it be cluttered kind of thing like i feel like that would be perfect for that but like for me that took up like a whole shelf on a billy bookcase like the bookcases behind me it was also like 120 dollars or something like it was just a lot of money and i don't know i just it was really fun to build it so i don't regret like it from that standpoint but i just really didn't need that like i would have rather just bought the minifigs separately because mm. yeah it just wasn't worth it for me but it, it's funny it's like a catch-22 because i remember everybody wanting that and they're like we want the apartment we want you know rachel monica's mm. apartment and we want chandler's apartment you know we all wanted all that and then we got exactly what we wanted and we're like it's too big <laughs> <laughs> So Lego is probably fair. just like oh, <laughs> these, <laughs> these people. Flips the table. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was just too big. But yeah, I'm curious in chat, like, what were yours that you just totally regret buying? Um, and that's probably how they feel about the office too. Everyone's like, we want an expansion because you know we didn't get Aaron and Andy. Yeah. And I think if they did, I think it's a good idea for them to do the expansion, but they do not need to make like the annex or like make a whole big thing. They just need to do like one small little building or something with a few characters we don't have. And that would, that would be, that would suffice. I feel like just more CMF series would be fantastic, you know, because like the Marvel CMFs did really well and oh, they weren't yeah. like, they didn't need to make all these Disney plus full on Lego sets, just like make really cool detailed minifigs. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of hope they do more stuff like that. They're really amazing. well done. I mean, they want toy of the collectible toy of the year, I yeah. think. Yeah. No, that was really cool. But yeah, no, I, I love all the different CMS. Like the Muppets were great. Oh yeah. Let us know in chat, like what were the what would be like your dream CMF series? Mine's still Scooby. Yeah. <laughs> the creeper. The yeah, just all the, bad guys. Well. Yeah. all the bad guys. Yeah. That'd be so stuff. cool. They could make like three series of it and like I would buy them all. And I would probably buy like multiple. I'd get like one just like to build and enjoy and then one just to keep in the bag forever just you know just in case because i'd be too paranoid something would happen to it like i'm so scared about all my disney minifigs and like worried they're gonna get scratched and they're so expensive now yeah, she has them just in a bowl they're just in a big bowl i'm like what do i do with these yeah we should we have display cases for them we just haven't put them in yeah we did buy display cases um i think Oh, speaking of the CMFs, I don't know. I've been talking to other people, and they had similar issues. So this latest wave, I don't think they put an even amount of characters in. Um, I don't know if anyone can confirm or not. But we could not... We found a lot, and we couldn't find uh, the brown spaceman, the uh, orc warrior, and the, the French socialite woman with a chihuahua. And... Um, I was like, well, I understand that the Spaceman was gone because I knew a lot of people were after the Spaceman. So I understood that that one was like wiped out and maybe the orc is cool too. And maybe the, but I, everybody I talked to said like, yeah, I got the whole set except for those three. And I was like, really? Why is it those three? Mm, and conspiracy. So I'm, yeah. I'm wondering why those three in particular. Now, again, I feel like, and, and people were saying too, and we ran the same issue is we found a lot of rocking chair kids but oh, yeah yeah but that was like like i mean it was already like a picked over yeah area. they were just kind of set out at the front by the register so i don't know if it was one box or two boxes or something but i was like there's a lot of rocking horse chair kids but not a lot of the other yeah. um figures so i wonder if there was an equal distribution why did i leave out ross when i went to france because <laughs> ross tickets, wasn't invited yeah, ross wasn't invited <laughs> and uh tickets to france are like <laughs> Twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, no, it was like we were thinking about it, like, you know, if we have the room already, like, could he come? But then, you know, the flight was like a stupid amount of money, so we were like, maybe not. Maybe maybe Ross can stay in Texas. <laughs> we did look into it though, but I don't know. Next next time I get to go <laughs> somewhere amazing. God, that was so cool. Um. Oh, let's see. Yeah, Brown Spaceman was the only figure I could find. I really? found one figure. Wow, okay. Huh. Yeah, I feel like that one's just like the one everyone's after. 
It's just, you know, it's like baby Benny. Like, how cute is that? It's so cute. Oh, Kristen's like, it's okay, Ross. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Poor Ross. Did you ever eat Lego as a kid? I didn't have Lego as a kid, so I didn't do anything with Lego as a kid. So no. <laughs> this should be Lego Star Wars CMF. That would be pretty neat too. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. always been like a topic, right? Of like, when are we getting Star Wars CMFs? Um, you know, I think we always hear rumors of it because it would be nice, right? Like same with the Marvel, as we got a lot of those. Um, really detailed characters that you know we just don't get in the sets you know at least in this set we did get the arm printing darth vader but um nick was pointing out earlier would have been nice if we got dual molded boots for um admiral sloan is it admiral sloan yet i don't know which what there's a, there's a captain vice admiral sloan so there you go <laughs> she worked her way up pretty high yeah. Um, yeah, I would like CMS. I wonder how they would do it. Oh, other characters, I would like them to make Boss Nass. Still haven't got a Boss Nass. I don't even know who that is. Uh, the the head of the Gungans. Oh. The goes, brruh, brruh, brruh. Yeah, okay, okay. No, he was cool. Okay. Um, those are the two I think I think of the most of who we don't have in uh, Star Wars yet. Rick and Morty. I don't think Rick and Morty yeah. is a is an IP that Lego would want. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they did The Simpsons, which is already kind yeah, of Yeah, I was surprised about that. I, I would love like the Futurama Planet Express. Yeah, that would be great, and especially since the, the the show's being rebooted. Me. Um, yeah, I don't like. I don't need like a whole wave or even a CMF necessarily for Futurama. I just I don't even need the. I, I think the Planet Express ship would be cool. That'd be good. Yeah. And then just, that. just the at least the main cast. I mean, obviously, I'd like the whole cast. Um, maybe even Scruffy the janitor, but <laughs> probably not him. Probably not. Um. Yeah, not the most family friendly. Yeah, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> um. Who else would be a good? good one i feel like they've done a lot of good ones i mean like look back this you know muppets were amazing looney tunes were amazing that was cool yeah um that was the funny one where you our friend found it and oh, yeah. we bought it from him <laughs> in a parking lot <laughs> and it came like in a ziploc bag <laughs> yeah that's like become a thing now is like this, you know, one of our friends in town, like, they're really good at finding Lego early at Kohl's. Like, they're always just checking first thing in the morning. And whenever they find it, like, I buy it from, like, I'll buy, like, half, you know, because it's, like, a full box. So he buys, like, 36 of them and then, like, just sells them to his friends for, like, the same price. Yeah. He's not, like, scalping it. Yeah. And I usually, like, buy them from him in, like, a parking lot. And I think, like, it's just so funny. It's, like, sounds so sketchy because it's just, like, I show up and he's there and, like, he doesn't have like Venmo, so I'm like whooping out cash. <laughs> and I'm like, huh, this is like really weird. <laughs> but I want, you know, I want the new minifigs. So interesting. I think I'm gonna beat you. You might, I'm slow. <laughs> I wish I didn't build so slow. But I get to enjoy it longer, so there's that. That's, that's a good way of looking at it. Me. Ladybird's like, hurry up. Yeah, she's <laughs> like, I wanna go play fetch. Poor puppy. It's funny. She's a, a retriever, so she just what she she likes her toys, but she doesn't really like play with them that much. She just likes to bring them to us and show it to us. And I'm like, <laughs> I guess that's part of what you know they're trained to do. She just like it's really weird, and I'm like, what's wrong with our dog? You know, because she'll like gather all her toys from throughout the whole house, <laughs> yeah. and then just like put them in a pile. Yeah, and it's weird because like we'll give her bones too. And then sometimes she's like, what is she, like a pen, 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 pentag <laughs> pentagram? <laughs> like she's building, like forming like a pentagram with the bones. She like puts them in a pile yeah. and we're like. What are you doing? Are you trying to summon an <laughs> evil spirit here? Let's, why are all these bones in a weird It's so weird. Yeah. Like, later knock it off. You, know? dork. <laughs> you have a weird dog. Oh my goodness. Tie bomber. Okay, guys. Tie bomber is getting ready to be built. I decided to put, um, you can put the wings on while 
it's being built, but I want to build the wings completely before I put it on the bomber. So you guys can see it. How come you're faster than me? I'm I've like actually trying. Had several years of experience. <laughs> okay, I'm getting there. Does Labor get hyper when she's wet? Oh yeah, like after a bath. Oh yeah, she does she's the zoomies. Just, she does the zoomies, but like Ross is like, don't freak her out, just let her lay down. And I'm like, ooh, 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 and, like freaking out the dog and like pumping her up. And I'm like, yeah. you know, slow, like, you know, you kind of like creep up on her and then she's like freaking out. So yeah, I, I like to freak her out after a bath, it's fun. I, uh, get her energy I did get her, what's it like, water-free shampoo or something like that. Um, Oh, yeah. I tried that out yesterday, and I don't think she smells that much better. <laughs> oh, yeah. She, she stank this morning. But I only I only washed her on the top, so now I, I just wanted to make sure it like, wasn't going to irritate her skin or anything. So now that I know she's not itching a lot, I can try it on her whole body. Aww. We'll see. Because, yeah, she doesn't like taking <laughs> baths that much. So She's a dog. Um, it's, like, hilarious. So I take her to the dog park, and they have a shower on the way out where you can take your dog to, to rinse them off. And she'll like throw a little fit and she's like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking a shower in front of everybody. And, <laughs> and like, she's gotten Stop out of, embarrassing yeah, me she's like gotten friend. out of our harness and everything. She's like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. No. And, uh, so that's why I got her this dry shampoo and then she doesn't like, so then I'll take her home and give her a bath because she's been running around, you know, it's pretty messy out there. Um, Ridiculous dog. Yeah, I know. I'm going so, I'm on like turbo mode. I'm going so fast. I, I have an extra piece that should not be an extra piece. Oh. <laughs> Guess we'll see. Oh man. <laughs> oh, what's going on, Anna? Welcome back. Hey. I'm having pizza. Oh. Hmm. Pizza sounds good. I made seafood risotto yesterday. It was very good. There were like mussels in it. We cooked mussels the other day. Yeah. I didn't even know you could do that at home. That was crazy. I was, I was having a great time. Yeah, I was. I was kind of nervous. I've never cooked mussels before. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. It's cute though. I put on my apron, make a whole thing of it. He loves his apron. Yeah. yeah. Wow, this is cool. I like it. Look how cute it is. Oh wow, are you done? No, no. Wow, I'm not really done cool. yet, but I think it's cute. How often do you do live streams? I used to do it once a week, but now I want to get back into it. I used to do like every single Wednesday and then I was traveling and I was sick and you know, life, holidays, but I do want to get back into it. So I don't know how often, but hopefully more than I have been. Cause I do enjoy it. How do you feel about the avatar sets? I feel like, they look neat, but it's the kind of thing, like, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't really care about the Lego sets yet. Like, once I see the movie, I might be more interested in buying them, but I don't know. I saw Avatar 1, like, when it was in theaters 20 years ago or whatever it was, and it was neat, you know? I was like, oh, this is cool, whatever. Um, it, ha it it didn't, like, stay with me, you know? It's not, like, favorite movie ever, Avatar. Like, it's, it's kind of whatever, but... No, the, sec the sets look neat. Like, yeah, I haven't seen it since it wasn't yeah. theaters either. It's kind of like, whatever, you know? Like, I don't need it in my life, but maybe once I see the movies, I'll be like, Ross, we have to go to the Lego store right now. <laughs> Immediately. I do like the, I really like ocean life and stuff like that, so I did like that aspect of it. And, you know, coral reefs, I think, are a pretty common thing mock builders like to build. Mm -hmm. Because you can use just all sorts of crazy pieces. And, like, cool. Emily was showing me, it was like, oh, look, there's, like, purple carrots and stuff. Like, <laughs> You know, to represent. I like the little purple carrot. And then anemones. And then the men men me. Finding Nemo is a great movie, and I think that we should watch it soon. <laughs> Fellowship of the Rings. Oh yeah, we're watching Lord of the Rings today. Like, guys, let me know what I should know ahead of time. Like, I'm kind of, I don't know. I'm like a little nervous about it because I've never seen it, and I feel like it's like a cultural experience. But I don't think I'm like prepared. Like, I don't really know much. I know there's a Gandalf the Grey, but he's also Dumbledore. Pretty sure it's the same actor. Nope. The guy from Lost, the blonde British dude, is in it. Mary. So I'm excited about that. What was his name? Like Do Dominic? Dominic? Uh, I Dom can't remember his. Dominic something? Real name. So um, he's in there. I like that guy. He's cool. Um, but I just don't know what, what, what do I? Help me prepare. I'm just enjoying. Just nervous. Just enjoying. Freaking out. 
She's like, it's been like six months of me trying to get her to watch Lord of the Rings. I told him to make it like an event, like a fun party or something. And Ross is like, what does that mean? And I'm like, food, Lego, just something fun. We're gonna eat leftover risotto. I want pizza now though. <laughs> Charlie from Lost, yeah, Charlie. I love Lost, except the end was weird. Like, what was up with that? But yeah, Lost is like, I don't know. I like watch it once every like six years. I'll watch the whole thing. Yeah, it's great. You should Twitch stream your Lord of the Rings experience. <laughs> Just me following. <laughs> it is asleep. on Amazon Prime, so it's, it is. You are able to do that. Yeah, yeah that is true, huh? Maybe not. <laughs> Just Twitch the whole event. Oh god. Who's that? Who's that guy? Who's that? Oh, Emily, pay great. attention. Oh, it's a great movie. It's very like a D and D kind of like. All right, we're setting up for our campaign. We got an elf, a bard, lady bard, a warrior, lady bard. Oh, so by the way, I am think I think I'm done with the bomber itself. I'm building the the stand for it now. But there it is. This is how big it is. I think this fits really. This is a great set, pew, like pew. size wise. Um, there's a lot in here. They did a pretty good job with like the detailing on the sides. You know, there's a lot of um, what's it called? Um, groveling, uh, graveling, whatever. Um, yeah, this actually looks really good. I'm pretty happy with this, and I'm happy with this smaller scale. I like this one more than I like the Tie Fighter, for sure. Uh, for 65 bucks, I think it's a pretty. I mean, it's Star Wars Disney inflated. I think I would like to see it at like 50, um, but you know. What are you gonna do? I have like 12 leftover pieces. And I don't think I should. Oh, here's one. Okay. I have a lot of leftover pieces. Rip. Yeah. Rip. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Doing my best. My best is not that great, but it's something. I mean, this is kind of old school. So it comes with a uh, like little speeder thing for you to carry your ordnance on. And I remember that was a big thing in the when Lego Star Wars sets originally came out. Like the X-wing would come with like a little speeder for people to you know ride to the ship and stuff like that. Like that used to always come with a lot of the ships. So it's kind of cool that they're doing that. Kind of a throwback. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. And I especially like it because you can put all the figures on it and you keep them all together. No need to be alarmed. I figured out where the extra pieces go. I know Gucci. that you were all worried, but it's okay. Bonk. Bonk. Bad Batch, what, what's the next Star Wars thing? Bad Batch, I think it comes out this week? What? Next week is or that, this week, Is yeah. that real? Chat help. Yeah, when does Bad Batch come out? <laughs> Chat is my sub. source of information. Yeah, I know, it's, just, it's pretty nice. Just tell me about everything, guys, help. Yeah, it's just nice. Like, I feel like chat's just like an all-knowing being. Like, someone there will know the answer to something. Okay, so there's one... Are, are they supposed to be extra? I feel like they're, like, not, but I had another. A little, like, triangle. Probably not. Right. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, Reben! <laughs> Thanks so much for the support. Um, he's saying, I took all my white brick heads out of a Ziploc bag, only to find that all the white bricks look like they have jaundice. What is that? I'm wondering if that means like yellowing. Oh, uh, maybe. Uh, I'm starting to hear that. There is, I think you could just do the uh, um, the hydrogen peroxide method. Oh. Um, I've heard people have pretty good success with it. Um, so hopefully that works out. Sorry to hear that though. Yeah, no, that sucks. Hopefully, hopefully you can like fix the white bricks or the white bricks are maybe common enough. But yeah, that's a bummer. I don't know. I'm like so scared of like my Lego yellowing, mm -hmm. which makes me nervous. But if it all like yellows at the same rate, then does it matter? Yeah, because then you compare it to other Lego sets, and you're like, eesh. Oh, yeah, maybe. Hmm, I don't know. Reuben, Reuben, our Mickey is almost done. We just have one more ear. Wait, there we go. Eek! Oh, we're so close to something more like. <laughs> I guess like less Halloweeny. <laughs> oh man, but I'm dedicated. We will, we will finish one. I have all of them like hanging up on the wall. They make me happy. You know where it goes? No, I don't see. I one. think it was from. I mean, I don't even know. 
Just ignore it. Yeah, well, it looks like they're all there. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we did it. So there it is. Want to bring the other two sets next to it? Okay. We're still. Uh, I think this one still has some more to it, or, or does it? Is this one done? No, I think one's done. Oh. I think the part you're missing is like the just the front, like the tree. And. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty much done. There's just one small bag left. Aww. Um, oh, cool. Isn't this like, you know, if you're, like, looking to start a Lego city or, like, you know, you're, you know, you just want something smaller, like, look how cute this is. You know, like, this is, like, such a good start. And then, brrr, gets bombed. Oh, bomb. Ah! Why did you do that? <laughs> oh, like, I didn't think there was stuff in it. <laughs> Ross! Maybe this is why your sister didn't want to play Lego with you growing up. My God. <laughs> she was like, yeah. Like, what, what are you guys talking about, like, how you guys interacted with Lego? <laughs> Lego! Oh, wait. What's the what's our favorite theme for it? Lego is the one, one you, you pick, pick to feel, feel the power of, of a brick. brick. Ross, like, thought that was a real thing. And we even asked our friends. We were like... Is this like a real saying? Yeah, Ross was like, "Yeah, like it was the funny, it was the weirdest saying because it made no sense. Yeah. Like, Legos the one you pick to feel the power of a brick. Like, what does that mean?" Turns out it like, wasn't a real slogan at all. Ross just like made it up in his head. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, we made a lot of progress today. So we finished this one up, and then we did. Like I said, I had the clone battle pack here, um, and then the tie bomber. So I'm really happy. That's pretty much it for the Star Wars way for me. I'm not really interested in the micro fighter or the brickhead. So I guess we'll see you in March for the next Star Wars wave. <laughs> um, I like my Lego set. Yeah, that one's great. So I think we're getting ready to wrap it up here because I'm starving Marvin. And I'm going to try to see if I can convince Emily to give me some hot wings. Um, what? <laughs> I want. Uh, but this Lakers. is a great set. This is an amazing set. Um, Wait, this one? Yeah. No, this is my set. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. So yeah, just saying, just putting it out there for anyone who cares, all 340 of you, which is crazy. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Like, please do subscribe if you're new. Hang out with us for a while. Like Mount all the turret on the YouTube there. stuff. But like, honestly, this is usually how it goes. Like, I'll build something Friends, and he builds something Star Wars, and then like. Like, he'll have, like, the stormtroopers have a little dance party or, like, a tea party in the front set. It's oh, yeah. Very. Oh, yeah. There was that one friend set with the, it was, like, a park and you can spin things in. And I made all the stormtroopers go in there and they're, like, dancing. Oh, my God. That was funny. Ridiculous. All right, guys. Well, thank you, everyone, so much for being here. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, and, yeah, like, this was a lot of fun. I'm glad that we can, like, stream again and... It's been a lot of fun. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you everyone. get all the Legos that are on your lists from the holidays. And, yeah, we're probably going to go find some chicken wings. So. All right, guys. Happy New Year. Happy Thanks New for Year. spending your time with us. <laughs> Bye.